Hey there, and welcome to the Buck99 podcast. I'm uh, here with my uh, son, Matt. Wes is out into the other room right now, and we'll be back very soon. Tonight, we are going to be talking about a few different things. So, uh, we're going to be talking about first, we're going to talk about HMV. Uh, that's closing down all across Canada. That's like 102 stores all across Canada closing down. It's going to be done by April the 2nd. We're going to be going going back to all of our childhoods, both uh, so for different generations. I'm talking about different shows in our childhood and how they would how they stack up and match up today. Maybe we'll even get a you know kind of like think about like which decades we do you know Sean. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. A lot of information has come out about it. A lot of information has not come out about it. And the second thing may be a little bit more glaring than the first one when you really think about it. Either way, we're going to have a lot to talk about. There's going to be m movies, TV shows, video games. It's going to be a packed episode. Uh, stay tuned. And uh, I guess the elephant in the room, right? We haven't talked about Babar yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that show. We'll get there. Anyway, yeah. uh, just before I did this video, I said I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to like take a shower, do my hair and trim my beard. So I wear glasses, but when my after my hair is wet and I've, I took my glasses to shave, that was the first mistake. So I get my uh, razor and I put the guard down and I think I got it on the perfect setting. So I get it and I kind of like take off my glasses and I go, okay, I'm gonna do, I can't get my glasses on because I'm trying to get up here. Uh, and I'm shaving like down a bit and I go, because I'm not quite sure, something doesn't feel right. So I go to uh, I go to my better half, good hand. And I'm like, uh, can you uh, check out see if I'm doing a good job with you know with the shaving? And she kind of like she giggles a bit, which is never a good sign when you ask that question and you're not wearing glasses and you can't see anything. And she said, well, you said you want me to be honest with you, and I'm like, yeah, of course, physical appearance important. Uh, so I said, well, there's nothing here. There's a patch here. There's kind of a patch there and there. You've got a full mustache, and there's some patches over there. So there was nothing to be done. So we shaved all of the bottom part off, and first we just left the mustache. Though I looked like one of those sleazy guys from the 1920s, uh, Agatha Christie stories. So didn't do, didn't go with that, and just ending up shaving everything off. And so if I seem a little different, I shaved. Hopefully it doesn't look too horrific you can shield your eyes and just listen to the video uh and if i seem a little glowy it's because uh once you shave like your skin tends to be like really dry and stuff so a lot of kind of like skin moisturizer and stuff like that you know what that's like yeah so you're shaved that. too so you're shaved but you have, you have more of a chin than i do so so you see there's Barely. a bit of, well trust me there more than this yeah it's the pin curse of like uh no uh, i don't know no who chin. took our chin i have a chin back. but it can disappear if i like See, that's not a. I don't know who I took like our Bob's chins, but I'm like, I really want them back. <laughs> oh, great! We look like characters from Bob's Burgers. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you? So that makes you. Who would you be if you're on Bob's Burgers? Who would you be? Quick, I think quick. I'd like, I'd probably be like, I'd probably be either the son or like the little girl who's like making like references to things that she shouldn't know because she's so young. You. Yeah. More than likely, I would actually probably be the little girl with the funny hat. As well. I would actually probably Bob. Who would I be? You think probably. I'd be Bob? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be the dude. You'd be Bob. I'd be like the kid. You know, like the, the See, kid who, who, who in one episode wore that gorilla mask and wouldn't take off. Yeah, I'd kind of... You could be Bob's friend, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the bigger guy. Oh that goes there every day. <laughs> Remember that guy? Yeah. He, he's, he's hilarious, actually. Uh, but no, yeah, I, I probably would be Bob, actually. Hey, but because, you know, after all, Bob isn't just Bob. Bob's an archer, so... <laughs> so there. <laughs> we'll be right back. As always, let's roll.
So we're back. Y'all. And uh, pretty much uh, it's Matthew's birthday week. So yeah. in the comment section, I'm to say happy birthday to Matt. He is going to be 22 on Monday. Yeah. So he was given his uh, birthday present here. I, I was. You want to show the, the big, I guess, the, well, not the, uh, the the cool one, though. Yeah, I guess. Mind I mean, like, Power it's going to come up in, like, the next segment. So. <clears throat> because, like, we're talking about shows. Show. And we're probably going to mention this anyway. Which I wasn't technically showing it now, but here you go. It's all of it. Bring complete first, no, it's a complete series. When I say first, and technically it is. It is a complete first series of uh, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin. It's all of Mighty Morphin. So it's seasons one through three in the Alien Rangers uh, miniseries. Which provides a transition into what would become next, Turbo Rangers? No, it, uh, no Turbo it's Zio next, Zio Rangers, then Zio. it's Turbo, then in space. <clears throat> yeah. And but, that's the full Zordon era. And but, it, um, it, that's the... The Mighty Morphin, with the cool special features and a painted cover. Yeah, if anybody saw, got the original box set, that this is actually a new release of that box set, uh, with the a new cool painted cover, and I guess to coincide with the upcoming movie. So yeah, makes sense. when I saw that, I had to grab that from Matt. <clears throat> then we went took you sh like clothes shopping, yeah, grabbed you a couple of dollars with clothes, clothes, which is actually cool, <clears throat> which was fun. We yeah. had fun with that. <clears throat> now, uh, our first topic: HMV. Yeah. Really, really shocked, actually. HMV closed down. Well, it is closing down. It's in the process of closing down. So, I guess both of us are going to be doing some shopping at HMV in the com upcoming future. Probably. They're, aside from having movies, TV shows, and I'm guessing you're going to be looking at that second Power Ranger set, which is probably going to get extremely cheap, and it's there. Yeah. Uh, definitely. <clears throat> no, no, Hinn's going to definitely be looking to see uh, Thunder of the Barbarian, which was one of our favorite shows, which we'll get into all this a little bit later on. Well, let's keep talking with, with HMV. So HMV is the is uh, her ma her master's voice is what it stands for. Really? His master's voice. His master's voice. Yeah. That's <clears throat> what HMV stands for. Yep. You know the dog on the RCA uh, Vic Victor Records, the one like listening to the uh, to the uh, to the gramophone. I guess. His master's voice. Uh, if you go to HMV in in London, for instance, on Bond Street, it actually spells out his master's voice. Rather than just I like me. literally no idea. I assume <clears throat> the V stands for video and H and M stand for something. Oh, media video or something like that. Yeah, something like that. No, it stands for his master's voice. I think it stands for his master's voice. That's, that's much cooler though, isn't it? Yeah, right it sounds now. like a horror movie. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, so a while back, the ones in England were in serious trouble, which meant that FOP, which was bought by H and V, also was in an extreme amount of trouble. Luck and a lot of HMVs around around the England area, around the UK area, was were closed down. Uh, luckily, they were uh, you know they were saved, and I think mostly to co with help from the North American ones here in Canada. Unfortunately, what came out recently is that since 2012, uh, pretty much or 2013, they haven't really been making any uh, any money to actually pay off any of their bills. Uh, just this. Uh, at the end of this week here, the, it came out that HMV would be closing all 102 of its stores all across Canada uh, and pretty much going into receivership. So basically, everything's going to be sold off in the next couple of months, uh, which is great for, you know, like just like Blockbuster, it's great for like that short term when you go in and you get that binge of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's, that's going to be really cheap. I'm going to be definitely buying some some movies, no probably some CDs and some, some vinyl for sure. Uh, probably... Maybe some vinyl. I don't even have anything to play vinyl on, but I wouldn't mind getting like our random access memories. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Or maybe one of the great Floyd's soundtracks. The wall. Yeah, some nice some soundtracks that are there too, with the with the actual picture discs and that. Yeah. That'd be cool to have one of those. Uh, as long as some laser discs, like. by the way. What? We need more laser discs, by the way. We haven't used your laser display. I know. I, we do need more laser discs. If anybody wants to send me laser discs, feel free. I will take laser discs. We have like <clears> Mary <throat> Shelley's Frankenstein here somewhere, and like I like that movie. Well, yeah, we gotta watch that. Yeah. I want to uh, just watch a laser disc. Yeah, <laughs> we will. Um, now, how do you feel about like H and B closing? Now? What do you think well, about? Like, in the last couple of years, we lost Target. I mean, we gained Target and we lost Target. Uh, Future Shop just fucked off. That was just that's still the biggest shock for me. Oh, like Future Shop just closed its doors suddenly, and that's what that Future Shop was really suddenly. I and, don't. That was like really sketchy business. I don't even understand. Hmm. I still don't fully understand what happened there. And yet we still have Best Buy. Which has it's okay people. for like a couple of times a year. You get some decent stuff. They had like stuff. slightly different like 
Like they're technically the same store, but they have different orientations. Like Future Shop skewed more towards like uh, physical media. Yeah. And uh, Best Buy skewed more towards computers and uh, and TVs. Yeah. Uh, so that way you could kind of differentiate them from one another. Then so here's the thing: it's an alarming trend. We've lost uh, Blockbuster. I uh, hear that Kmart in the United States looks like it's going to be closing down. Lost Jumbo. Uh, we lost Jumbo Video, which is another big one here. We lost. Uh, there's a couple of Jumbos in the in the Atlantic Province. It's still open, I think, though. Is that? Yeah. Uh, but those were independently owned. Okay. Now we lost uh, we lost CD Plus, which was the first one that we lost, and that was probably the be the best one that carried a lot of different uh, genre like titles and stuff like that. Uh, like HMV carried a bit, but they were more expensive. Now and now, recently, that's kind of that's kind of been their stock and trade. Is like uh, stuff like Screen Factory. They started to carry Aero Video. Uh, we actually got to see some of the. Uh, the on-demand titles actually show up there as well, which is actually kind of cool, like the you know, the Warner Brother archives and stuff like that. But it doesn't bode well for brick-and-mortar physical media stores. No, uh, and that's that's a shame because actually I was just talking to somebody who was actually talking about the fact that VHS and, and you know kind of analog was it you was it talking that was kind of making sort of making a was it me supposed to make them come back analog media. Was kind of making a comeback it wasn't me or digital and uh that's actually you know this is the first year that digital is really like it's apparently a sold like to the point that the uh, that they actually really want it to. uh how do i feel about it i i don't think that i think anybody that has a digital collection really doesn't own anything they're just running you know they're, they don't own. you don't own a movie. yeah like any movie that you got and you only have it digitally you don't own it uh it, you know it can be deleted from a cloud uh, the service that that hosts it can close down just like a a, a, a store can close down. Uh, the one of these services can close down. Something could happen. Uh, rights issues could be could happen, and uh, that's a uh, that's never a good thing. Yeah. But uh, it looks like for right now, what I'm seeing is that vi like the video market is going much more niche. Arrow, uh, but it's it's still successful that way. Like air companies like Arrow, Screen Factory. All the, you know, Vinegar Syndrome, all those guys are going to be selling online. Yeah. And for a while, we're going to see that. It's going to be more online. That's going to get, and, and I think it's going to get a little bit more pricier before it goes down. Uh, because it has to. I always to prefer survive. being able to go get something when I do ordering it. I do. Unless too. it's something that I have to order. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like, I've been meaning to get the, the new, uh, not new movies, but the, Power Rangers Ninja Steel uh, Morpher because I collect Power Rangers things. Yeah. Uh, and I could have had it like a while ago. It's like, it's been a month since it was released. But I'm, I've just been waiting for it to come to Toys R Us here because I don't want to have to order it. I'd much rather go into the store, pick yeah. it up, yeah. and bring it home myself. I don't want to wait on that shit. And hope that it gets there and hope they get there in good condition. Yeah, and pay like shipping fees and shit like that. Yeah, shipping fees are killer here. Yeah. We are in Newfoundland, which is an island in Canada. So, And I've mentioned this many times, especially recently on my channel, that it gets very expensive for us to buy certain things, for him to get something shipped here, yeah. for me to get a Blu-ray shipped here from the United States. Especially uh, considering like, I ship a lot, <clears throat> a lot of my stuff from fucking Japan when I get certain things. Like when I'm getting Sentai stuff, that's... Hmm. Like, I, especially like February, next month is... When they're gonna start releasing the the new Sentai toys, and I want those quite is, a bit. Are there, is the shipping high in Japan? Shipping depends on where you come from, <clears throat> but they yeah. can be pretty freaking high here, especially. I mean, you could actually get you know all we have to do really is go off this island and live in Nova Scotia, and we're getting we better like, shipping. Yeah, we can start like thirty so. feet to the right and it'd be better. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, HME, so let us know what you think about HMV closing down. We are really disappointed. Uh, we do go there a bit. The we kids do. know that whenever I go I to the mall. can't think of any other film stores. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. What other film stores are left? That like, uh, like, like Best Buy doesn't really stores, count. stores, though there's not actually any I can't think stores. of any unlocal stores either. What, no, what? what I mean, like, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, I can't think of any branch stores anymore. Like, Walmart doesn't count. Like, you... you so there's movies in there, but that's not a film store. That's and you don't have... And it's the mainest of mainstream movies. Yeah. At, at, a, at all Best times. Buy doesn't count. Best Buy... It's semi got more stuff, but and every once in a while you get like the exclusive and Best Buy, the you know the cool steel book or something like that one of the Mondos, uh, yeah. but uh, again they don't cater to a lot. They do cater to like, like well, a lot of mainstream stuff, mm -hmm. 
and a lot of like the Best Buy exclusive. But it's a media cool. store. It's not like a film store. No, like uh, not really. No, like H and V though had a lot of music in it. Half the store was films too. Oh my god, yes. Even like there's an anime section. There's just there's just it, a ton of stuff. It was a like a an entertainment store, and there's not a lot of entertainment stores. And I've heard recently that the FYE in the United States that they're that a lot of their stores, like even though they have like a lot of like movies still, they also have like a lot of like uh, kind of like uh, Funkos and stuff like that. Even I've noticed that in a lot of the EB games that I go to, that used to be like wall to wall with, Ooh, uh, yeah. with movies and physical media. Now there's an entire Huge wall section. that's been taken up just with just Funko stuff and like yeah. uh, figures and like uh, geek socks and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so I, it's changing. Like the stuff. The collectability aspect is changing, and it will change again. But uh, it's kind of weird when the pl the place in your town that's going to have the most movies is probably your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should not have more movies than the, than the local movie stores. I mean, pretty much I already did, but no, they still had cool stuff. That's the thing. So, so I said I love. Now after. you do now have like a larger selection than any. Is in anyone any place here in San Chancho? Yeah. Hmm. Which even Suncoast Records. Remember Suncoast? We we're, we're up in Ontario. We said we got. Uh, oh, we're yeah, coming yeah. back from Morocco. Yeah, I got a couple. Stuck uh, Tartan. Tartan. They're, they're closed down. Are they? Yep. Suncoast is gone. I was down. gonna actually like. I've been like neglecting to mention that one because I was like, well, I know there's some stuff in Toronto, uh, and I haven't been there in like a couple months. So, I, when I was there, I wasn't at uh, any film stores. Where, where I basically were hidden by my uh, some of my stuff like my like uh, my video nasty documentary and uh, rare out of print Criterion Le, uh, Le Corbeau that's uh, that, that's that sort of Le Bo Noir that also sucks so there, I really can't think of any now then <laughs> yeah uh, I thought there was some on the mainland but I guess not there, there's probably like some smaller ones like maybe like dollar stores dollar generals that carry films and stuff like that but like that doesn't count like there's no film film store even the one that I was up to in Ottawa, that was an amazing, amazing film store. That is also closed down. You can't even blame like you can't blame it on like torrenting, downloading because like a lot of that like has like ceased in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, it, when it's, I it's streaming mostly saw, now. Oh yeah, when I saw stuff originally, yeah. uh, there was a ton of torrent sites, and you could get anything. You could yeah. literally get anything. I, I mean, guys, you get anything on torrents, like any movie you could think of, any TV show. Any uh, cartoon show, and for a while it was such a, you know, arr, it was a piracy time, but uh, that's a horrible pirate. You know? It was awful. I don't know what that <laughs> was. But it wasn't a pirate. But uh, but then you slowly saw them going away. The Mini Novas, places like that, and it was kind of cool because I could find things that weren't available on any format, uh, you know, especially on DVD or anything near me, and I would like find it, and, and as I would find something physical media wise, I would end up like replacing it. You know, I'd always buy if there's actual copy of it out there, because that's no. me. I want to have physical copies of everything. Uh, but those places are gone, and the places that are left are few and far between, and they're not really that good. Like I, I just realized that it's. I don't know how many years it's been since I've been into a legit movie store. No, it's gonna like be a movie gallery. We definitely gotta go next day. I don't even count that. Like I, like it is, but like I'm talking about like. Like the racks of movies, like you know what I'm talking about. Like Blockbuster was last year in town. Blockbuster, Blockbuster, I thought it was like Jumbo. Jumbo, maybe. Yeah, maybe Jumbo. That's sad. That's, how many years has that been there? It's a couple years, two or three years. Dad. Uh, but there we go. It's you know, it's an incredibly sad thing. It's not the way, not the most upbeat way to start our our video. But that just goes to show you guys. If there are local video stores in your area, please support them. Uh, don't know how much it'll help at this point, but yeah, try it. Yeah, do. I mean, like, no, seriously, you have to. You have to like sort buy stuff. Don't just order off of Amazon. Don't wait till that Amazon sale comes on. Actually, buy stuff from stores. Go, you know, go into a, vi a, a store, a video store. Go into one of your local video stores, your mom and pop shops. Buy stuff from them. Uh, go into. Any like the FYEs and stuff like that, and you know, show interest in actual films that that you want to see physical media stay there, because it's when we get complacent that these stores kind of realize, you know, well, if if they don't really want it, why do we keep 
bringing it in. And then they're going to bring in less and less. And even the, if you go in there looking for stuff, it's not going to be there. They're going to assume that, that you're not interested because you're not interested in the smaller selection that they've suddenly got because nobody is buying it when they do have stuff. And then all of a sudden it's phased out completely or the store closes down. Uh, that tends to be the cycle that we're getting in right now. So help rescue physical media. Buy and support physical save media as much as you can. Or something. Yeah. Hashtag save on. physical media. <laughs> oh. There we go. We hashtag something. Yay. Twitter. Tweet don't, it. Don't do that. Why not? You can mm -hmm. fine. You can do that. But like anything. Anything that keeps going. Hashtag save physical yeah. media. You know, buy more. Well, like that's not even fair because you're going on Twitter and that's like modern times. Uh, Telegram hashtag. <laughs> physical media to all your friends but you, you got to I mean like at, at this point I'm saying that like trying to do the, the stuff no, no. like trying to do the stuff of, like you know like you can't promote the old stuff with new stuff like, no no it's you have to though. no but like no, I know that you can't that, just put it in a book and then tell everyone like, to buy the book you get, know like get a letter and just be like <laughs> like, <laughs> like dear take, take a picture of yourself writing it down and <laughs> tweet the picture yeah, dear, Instagram dear it. Susan Hashtag save physical media. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then send it by bird. Tweet it, Instagram it, but oh, save physical media. Like we'll be right back, and we're going to be talking about what are we going to talk about, guys? What are we talking about next? Oh, are we talking about TV we shows? Are we doing TV shows? Now? Yep. Yes. Okay. So we're going to talk about we're going to be talking about some retro TV stuff. Basically, we're talking about some of our favorite uh, cartoon shows that we had from our childhood. Shows that in the, in their decade, and pretty much just seeing. How they hold up today? Which ones we think hold up? We're gonna. It's gonna be kind of a round ta table discussion, debate about it. The kids are gonna get a lot more talking to this one than me, more than likely. And and I know they're just chomping at the bit to uh to talk to get into the subject. So we got a lot to talk about, a lot of really interesting stuff, and with a lot of varied opinions, which uh which should make for a fun time. Yeah. We're, I'm gonna go for a second and make some tea, but with the magic of editing, you're not even gonna realize it. All right, so we are going to talk about some shows from our generation. We really, what happened is that earlier on today, we we're trying to decide really what we're going to do the podcast bit. We knew we were going to talk about HMP. We knew we were probably going to touch on Nintendo Switch and all that stuff. But we wanted a main topic, something that we could all sink our teeth into. And uh, you guys actually started talking. Matthew actually started talking about uh, had this some shows last night with us, with some of his friends, about some shows that he feels like kind of stood the test of time. And once it didn't stand, 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 blah, 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 stand test time so well. So I am actually going to give this over to Matt and Wes to talk okay. a bit first about like uh, kind of like shows really in their generation. We're not going to talk about those really named shows yet. Uh, we're going to start off with some of the smaller shows. And we'll yeah. get into like uh, to some bigger stuff. So I can drink I some tea. I made a formal list that you yes, would have we... seen me making in the previous one that you would have seen like literally less than a minute ago. Exactly. Interesting yeah. fact: Dad never makes formal lists about anything, but me and I Wes, made a formal list Wes like writes it down. Anytime you've ever seen us do like a straight up like like Dad will be like make a list of something. You like sit down and you take name off your list. I used to have like files on my like phone. Yeah. Like saying inside. In I fact, don't when you remember stuff. Though. Remember the verses like, videos we used to do? Yeah. When you like like we had like an old iPad that like we hadn't used for years because we'd like broken the charger. Yeah. When we charged it up again, in there the notes files on it was of, like, my notes old from files. Videos. From videos. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like Wes accidentally deleted all of them, but uh, <laughs> but uh, but there was old lists that we had. We used to do like, yeah, we used to have videos. If you guys watch like a ways back, we used to do like versus lists where basically me and Matthew would pick like a, a list of our of top shows and we'd go put one against one, each other kind of to say, and we wouldn't look at each other's lists and uh, we'll probably bring that days. back for some, uh, like, you know, for everyone once in a while. we all looked cringy. <laughs> we didn't look cringy. We did. When I had a beard. That was like yesterday. <laughs> when my hair was like, okay, my hair's not, been, never been a natural color, but. Yeah, your hair was a Your hair was natural, natural color for a while. Was it? You had like a dark had, blonde for You had like time. really nice long, like... Luscious yeah. locks. Dark like blonde. When was that? that was years ago, right? <clears throat> yeah, that was so the last one. So those videos. Uh, okay, so guys, get up here and start talking. We're going to talk okay. about older TV shows, retro shows. Okay. okay, so like, first stuff, since well, we can't we, talk about any of the big stuff that we're going to talk about. Skip the first three, I guess. Skip the first three. Why don't we get into, why don't we start okay, with... Okay, the first four. 
No, five. Hey, what? Start with your with the show. Where do we? With that other show. Start, with, start with what? Start with the shows that you want to talk about, like that really weren't going to be like huge parts of the list. Okay, at the time. we're going to be. Well, then I guess we're going to go with like Dexter's Laboratory and Johnny Bravo first. Fine, well, see, those either. ones actually have I have, <laughs> I actually have stuff to say about. I, I don't. So, I, Dexter's okay. Lab, yeah, it's huge. Well, I mean, Johnny Bravo can easily be summed okay, up then, in you know that. Okay, let's start. <laughs> With Little Bear. Little Bear was pretty good. Yes. That was my childhood. I will forever stand by Little Bear. My favorite character was the cat. My favorite was character was Little Bear. He was my favorite. Tiny Bear? Small Bear. Uh, little Bear. Do you remember so, Little Bear, Dad? Yeah, see, as okay. an adult, I, loved the I watched a lot of these shows with, with the kids, you know, because uh, growing up, I was pretty much taking care Lugie, of you guys. Lugie, Lugie. Uh, when, when you were really young. So basically, what we... What happens? I would often. I'm a writer. Would like think up stories in my in my mind as I'm watching these programs, so I can tell you guys this now because it's not going to be each other. <laughs> With Little Bear, there was a little girl that was in Little Bear for for a while, but she moves away. Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, Doesn't maybe she, back after a while? she does. But she does. Yeah. but what I was my, one of my story one of the stories in my head was that Little Bear with with bearer just <laughs> like. Her? Like pretty much says that no no not that that's what they're doing. Jesus Christ! Does that count? Damn! Holy shit! Like ate her. Oh, ate her. Ate her, and uh, and basically she had like a a kind of a doppelganger, like a twin, like a cousin, like in Twin Peaks. The girl came, came back like a later. weird little bear mystery. Yeah, yeah. This, no I mystery look, to it. I look at this list. The blood I, source of little bear. I look at this list and I I say it's garbage. It's trash because we talk about little bear. We don't talk about the same bears. Uh, or the Berenstein Bears. Yeah. Boy. Ooh. Mama, Papa, sister, and brother. I love oh, that cartoon. Half this video is going to be a scene. That was like. the best. Good kush. I swear. Good kush. <laughs> and uh, the... the <laughs> I'm and, sorry. Uh, I'm speaking memes. And um, the... Uh, the books were really good. The for books that. were fine, and they did like, a good translation the of the books. Show. I, well, the TV show was, was really fun, talk. and I know the books are incredibly weirdly no. Christian. I can actually like, say shit. I would still watch read those watch that show. I would oh, yeah, still absolutely. watch that show too. I will. I'm a little confused at why everyone else has a name, but anyone in the bear fan, the bear insane family <laughs> is Mama Papa, Mama brother, Papa, sister. sister and brother, cousin, and then Grandpa and Grandma. Do they have a cousin? Yeah, his name's Cousin. Oh my god, yeah. that's the best thing ever. I think his name is Cousin, right? I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but no, it was just Always a way to, to let anybody, any kid that was watching, reading books at the time, I guess, and would look later on to watch the show, yeah. to put themselves in the place of a brother or sister, oh and and, the, and for the parents to put themselves in the place of mom and papa. And it did get into a lot of different aspects, but it didn't get, it didn't go too deep. It was like a morality yeah. tales. You're right, it was kind of a, kind of a, a pseudo religious maybe. It was really Christian. related in the books. I don't the T V show was not religious. It's not like a veggie <laughs> tales type thing. <laughs> uh, we didn't talk about it. But uh Johnny Bravo. Oh, we're talking about if we're crossing off Johnny Bravo from the list. Yeah, Johnny Bravo was just uh well, it was okay. It's a fun little mediocre show, but I, I actually think never watched that as a kid. I knew what it was, but Let's I didn't watch it. Yeah, but hey mama. What else we got here <clears throat> that we're not gonna talk about a lot? We're not gonna talk about group, group I, I I gotta mention a little series since well they're I looking at that I'm gonna mention the show have his autograph. and that is okay, a yeah, but like, that's, you're not talk about the, and that is a you're gonna go in depth on Gucci right? you're gonna go in depth you can keep talking we're just gonna talk yeah, yeah no, what, okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry we're just... uh, you can't do that on television you can't do that on television it was like a live action series that was pretty much a modern day kids version of uh, it's an 80s show so like a kids version of the uh, of the old Rowan and Martin's Laughing Show, which you're probably not going to remember, and you guys probably never heard of before. Uh, but uh, it was basically skits, like uh, comedy skits. Uh, even like Alanis Morissette, actually, the, the singer. Yeah, she acted on that show. It was a Canadian show. It started the whole like slime thing, kind of the ooze thing, where there would be a segment where somebody would like say a certain word, and they'd be slimed when they did it. Like, waiting Wait for, for the teacher up? to... Because I was, waiting to, I was waiting for my turn to speak. Um, this, this is... This is a part of the thing where this show was a part of the thing where we're all gonna mention one show that like was like ex like pretty much exclusive to our like, generation. generation like that isn't that doesn't apply to the list really. Yeah. This is the one that dad wants to talk about because yeah. it doesn't apply to this list. Yeah, definitely. It's like it was a show 
that's definitely of its time. There was like a kind of a spinoff show with another name. Uh, the show was a Canadian series that was bought up by Nickelodeon and became very popular. And the uh, the slime aspect of it that I was mentioning before actually ended up getting used in a lot of Nickelodeon shows and game shows and stuff like that. Um, which, you know, we'll be talking about like uh, kind of like younger, uh, like kind of kids game shows and that stuff at, an, at another time. And yeah. along with... Uh, with the young adult like uh, scary shows, we're gonna do list on, like topics on those as well. Maybe we'll even do a list on it. On yeah. Arthur, thank you by the way, because Dad established rules of we're not gonna talk about anything big right now. Then immediately flew off the handle and mentioned your off-topic one before we even talked about the big ones. <laughs> I thought uh, basically you guys were doing your thing through the list. I had to keep something going. I thought you were talking about the consistency. Thing, <laughs> yeah. We were like, Arthur. I was so, okay, Arthur, Arthur. Arthur, we'll talk about Arthur now. Um, Boy. Arthur was, me and you, separately, not at the same time, because you can't get on the same computer at once. But. We would play. When you would go to the library, and on the back of the, you know, on like the kids' really section of the books, you go into the computers, and there'd be like games. There was like Magic School Bus games, really and Arthur games, and Barney yeah. games, like all the games was so good. And the Arthur games. games. Oh, man. The Arthur games. Boy. Oh, the Arthur games were so fun. And the oh. the we probably I should probably even mention this. We're gonna talk about it in a second, anyways. But uh, Magic School Bus also had like I those games. I just mentioned that. Did you? Yes. Yeah. I didn't hear you. <laughs> That's I don't. You never listen to me. I don't listen. I don't listen. <laughs> um. Anyways. Uh. But those because of those games, like those two shows, have like a special place for me. Because like when I think of like Magic School Bus or Arthur, well, Arthur I can think more of the episodes, but Magic School Bus I definitely think more of the game. Like the game where they're inside of what's his name's body. Yeah, that kid. There's always that kid. The kid who like who does not want to do any of it. Yeah, he's always complaining. And consistently, and they're all like, "Shut to... the hell up! We're doing this." Yeah, they're and you're like, "This is incredibly point. dangerous." And the teacher's like, "I don't care." No and was, are you talking about school right now? Yeah, because yeah. it was. Well, a... I guess we got guess kind of school right now. Well, yeah, because it was in the same category. So yeah, I guess but. Arthur, Arthur and the Magic School was kind of go hand in hand, being those shows that came on like kind of a PBS yeah. that yeah. that we that uh, Magic, kids would watch. Uh, I loved actually Magic School Bus. I'm not gonna lie to you. Does anybody else love the clips of Magic School Bus where things are like taken out of context and it sounds so inappropriate? We have to watch it. We have to watch it. We okay. do. Uh, things are getting a little crazy over at Kai's house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, oh yes, Daddy. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> you guys are disturbing me. We're just me. talking about clips now. Um, Caillou, we're not going to talk about it. We're awful. Talk, it's awful. <laughs> little thing, bitch. It not unless it's bad, it's... I did like it a little bit as a kid because I liked the art style where, like, the edges were, like, gone, but everything in the middle was, like, important. Caillou was one of those characters that you just want to just... I liked the visual aesthetic of it. Stab in the eye. Yeah, yeah, and and just probably kick off. Well, you had different opinions <laughs> on Caillou than I I did. hate kids. Um, if you didn't hate kids, Caillou would make you hate kids. Yeah. Kids. What a whiny little brat. And he's always one. Oh. He is. You know what? He's like, like, remember that show about the bear? Like, there was a, about this, like, used to watch it. It was with this teddy bear. And it always, and it was kind of a lot. Well, I mean, he always wanted to be something every week. I love that. Like, I don't remember that. What's the name of the show again? I, it took me years to find out, like, and I forget it. Somebody, Tim, my life will never Tim, be complete. Tansy Bear, whatever the bear was called. Anyway, Bear's so and, and every no, every episode he'd be, he'd be like, I, uh, he'd always do something different. I'd be like, he's like know, a fireman. I've yeah, always wanted not, to be a fireman. Oh, you're talking about Paddington Bear? No, no, no Paddington Bear. Paddington Bear. Oh. Paddington Bear was the one who had like marmalade. Oh, marmalade. oh yeah, so that was a marmalade guy. <laughs> It was uh, some other, marmalade guy. <laughs> it was that marmalade guy standing on the street but, corner. Asking see the that that bear was in a good way. Was kind of like, I always wanted to be like that. But, we need to find that bear. But Caillou was always like the, the kind of the polar, the whiny opposite of that. Screw firemen! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be a fireman. Even his song has the words, growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. Growing up That it should not never tough. be anyone's <laughs> tagline. When you've yeah. had enough. Bitch, even <laughs> when you've had enough, you still do it. It's like looking at a mystery. Don't just throw a freaking tantrum. We, well, look at a mystery novel and it says no. solving crimes until it gets lame. <laughs> Caillou, everybody's had enough of you. Yes, it's actually adding rhymes. I mean, Are you like adding Caillou and then crossing it out? No, I'm adding the things that we talked about, but we didn't put on the list previously. <laughs> okay. I still can't remember that bear show. That was really a show. That we need to really find good. that bear. Okay, I'm writing it, it down. Do you know another good show at the time? That, that bear used to watch show. That? Remember, remember Sagwa? Sagwa. Yeah. The cat? Yeah. That was a really good show. Sagwa was amazing. 
I am. P- uh, <laughs> PB and J Otter was pretty good. Are we moving on to the next thing? Because I wanted to mention Darkwing Duck. Oh no, I wanted to mention Chippendale first. Chippendale. Amazing. Still good to this day. I have Chippendale over there. Really? Yeah. Look, oh, look, yeah, look. You I tied them up. And, and <laughs> no, uh, Chippendale's no, a good. <laughs> um, Chippendale's amazing. I love how you moved that like that saying to the corner of your mouth that the camera could see instead of the one that the camera could see. <laughs> well, yeah, I turned towards you and I did. <laughs> but no, oh, uh, boy. Chippendale's worse. So let's just get into one, Disney's one Saturday afternoon because that's what this is where this is where this is going right now. Yeah. And we'll come back to the other stuff because this is the, this is the meat of this discussion right now. Yeah. It's Disney's one Saturday afternoon. Uh, I have to write things down. Sorry. Just some at some of the most amazing yeah. cartoons. Period in in its time. Uh, Chip Nails Rescue Rangers was kind of like the early kind of kind of the start of it. Uh, going back even farther than that, Pepper Ann is probably the real Pepper the real Ann. start of that. And you remember the theme song? Yeah, of course. Uh, and I actually like Pepper Ann, but I'm throw you it's one, one of the ones that doesn't stand up. Which one's that? Brace Face. I know you like Brace Face. <sighs> I love Brace Face. Uh, that's some that's some uh, Nirvana show. It's uh, more of a Canadian show. It was kind of like kind of aping the uh, the style of stuff like uh, Pepper Ann that. But uh, I really love that show, and I still do. I actually I've looked for like cartoons that, I, but I can't find any around here. I think they used to have some at Dollarama, but I can't yeah. find them now. Uh, All right, but let's go into Disney su- one Saturday afternoon. So okay. you just mentioned Chippendales, uh, you know. So obviously that's a strip club. <laughs> no, uh, Chip- <laughs> Chippendales Rescue Rangers. So uh, what do you guys think of Chippendales? I never Chippendales. Why do you? I saw one episode of Chippendales. Uh, <laughs> you know he's saying it, Dad. I've never seen an episode of Chippendales. But yeah, Chippendales Rescue Ranger. I've seen. I think I've seen one episode of that, but I'm not sure. It could have been a part of the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> it was not a part of the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. No, no, they what, never a, appear. what a dramatically different thing. <laughs> no, the one of them is three D and like five year old show, and the other is like, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. There was. It, at the time of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, there was another Mickey Mouse show that was happening that wasn't 3D and it had nothing to do with like the rest uh-huh. of the Mickey Mouse game. What are you talking about? But like, about? there was a guy. He would like ro- There was a boat. Dude, are you talking? Are you <laughs> having it? Do we need to get you help? <laughs> no. He, what are you like, talking about? Steamboat Willie? Uh, no, I remember a specific. <laughs> I, I remember a specific episode of something Mickey Mouse that had Chip and Dale in it, and there was also a part in which Mickey was on a boat going down a river, and then Chip and Dale came in later, and they were talking about their Chip and Dale things and being gay. Okay, well, Mickey Mouse what never are you on. Talking about? Was never on Chip and Dale's Rescue Ranger. It was like a totally different. No, that's year. why it's not. What? I don't think I've seen that. I think I've seen. What are like, you talking about? <laughs> it's the not... only time I've seen Chip and Dale <clears throat> is in the old skits from like the '30s. Or Imagine the, if you will. Or, <laughs> an alternate dimension. Yes, they were. The Zero Skits in the 30s, <laughs> or if they're referenced in another Mickey Mouse show. I've never seen the actual Chip Dance Rescue Rangers. Anybody here seen Chip Dance Rescue Rangers aside from me? Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, great. I have not. Now, I really liked it. A, a great action adventure show. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. And that, that girl in it, uh, what's her name again? I forget what her name is. She was so cute, though. She oh, that chip. girl? Oh, I love now, her. There's like female a female chipmunk. There's a female chipmunk that, like, all, young, all the young boys at the time were like, you know, she's so hot. Bestiality. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, like, you want to talk about bestiality? The start as a furry. What's your name from Goof Troop? Yeah, oh, damn, I that really got into that. Dude, I... This does not <laughs> apply to the list. This does not apply to the list. Goof yeah. Troop is there. But, uh, Goof Troop. Goof Troop is a really I good show. I have Goofy's autograph. So, like, Goofy is my favorite. I the th- and- did not watch Goof Troop, but I watched... Both the Goofy movies? There's a the thing. With the Goof Troop and both the Goofy movies, at the time, I watched, I guess, with you, especially with that, because you were, you were way little. <clears throat> and it was one of the few, Goofy and Goof Troop is one of the few times that you're seeing a father and son in Disney, as opposed to like kind of like the father, the, the mother and son relationship. And that meant a lot. As a dad, watching that, that meant a lot to me at the time. And now it it means more to me seeing it now with, with both you you guys like you know you know teenager almost grown up and like almost an adult not yet you're only 22 <clears throat> so not not all yet uh, but uh no Goof Troop is one of those big ones you, you like Goof Troop oh, yeah, I love Goof Troop you related to Max yeah 
I totally relate to I really Max too. Goofy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was Goofy. I really had to get everything I've ever seen of like Goofy and Max together. I always really used to Goofy, who was just like, hey, let's do things. And Max was like, can you not? And Goofy was like, let's do it. <laughs> this, see that? That Goofy thing? That's every day when I'm with these kids here right now. I'm like, I, and. Sometimes we just want to sit down and not and they're always, yeah. like, whining at us. It's, like, it's oh, always like, uh huh. It's always like, you know, oh, Dad, you're, you're too, uh, you're, you're you're too happy and you're too like excited <clears throat> excited about everything. I love yeah, that. It's part. like dealing with a six year old. Yeah, and I'm like <laughs> chillax, chillax. Right? Like I I get I relate to Max when I'm with Dad, but I relate to Goofy when I'm with like anybody that's not Dad. I'm consistently. <laughs> I'm consistently Max. So. Oh, I also got to say Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. Duck! Let's get, get dangerous. dangerous. I've never seen that show. It's amazing. Oh, you gotta see Dark. Well, I got that. Too. I think I've seen a lot like of people a, really I think I've love like of it, but that's about it. Duck Tales. Well, my favorite duck show is Darkwing Duck by far. Darkwing Duck should be a launch pad and quack. Never good. mind. But dark, <laughs> but I'm gonna I can't say <laughs> Duck Tales is the better. Like, I was show going involved. to say that show about the baby ducks, but that was Duck Tales. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you were doing that. <laughs> yeah. The show about the baby ducks. Scrooge McDuck. Oh, I like Scrooge McDuck. That was a good. And they're actually remaking Duck Tales. So, they're doing a new Duck Tales show. I was talking to And David like... Tennant is playing Scrooge McDuck. Cute. Oh, that's pretty so awesome. So there was so like the, just uh story time. Um, I was at school and we were talking about a Christmas Carol because it's exam time right now, and last year in grade ten we did a Christmas Carol and that was one of the things that we had to review for the exam. We were talking about how last year we had better books than we did this year, and we talked about it and like I was talking to one person. They're like. I've never actually seen anything legitimately like a Christmas Carol except for Scrooge McDuck. And <laughs> I was like, I want, I aspire to be as like cartoon as that. Like, I know what the whole thing. DuckTales is amazing. I loved DuckTales. It has the one of the best theme songs. Okay, quick guys. Can you sing part of the DuckTales theme song? Everybody can sing part of the DuckTales. DuckTales. That's it. Uh, <laughs> like... <laughs> really? Uh, like... I can't remember much of them. The, the French like, spot like, theme. Like, like, you know, there's danger there behind you. In, <clears throat> out in front of you. DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I, like, I know, like, the first thing is, like, like race car or something, and play... <laughs> Race cars up in airplanes. Here in like Duckburg. Duckburg. Yeah. All the words that involve ducks. <laughs> it's a duck it's world. Life is, is a mystery. Life is a mystery. Let's rewrite history. Duck tales. <laughs> Something that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> duck tales. <laughs> See, I knew all the words to the duck tales theme song. Tonight, my better half hand was what, was looking at a lot of shows from her childhood, and one thing she showed was Ducktales, in with, French, in French, the theme song in French. That totally messed me up on it, which is not as good in French, by the way. Even hand who, who, who watched these shows in French says Ducktales theme song in French not half as good as his English. Yeah, it was, like, it was like really weird. <laughs> but no, an amazing show. Uh, the, what about we talk about like? Okay, you know what? Next from here, let's go to Hey Arnold and Doug. Early ones. Uh, hey Arnold was the football uh, Did, like wh what? head kid. Can yeah. I just you just said Hey Arnold so weird like Hey Arnold was like hey Arnold was the football. Was, come on, I'm not. This is not the Amanda show. Uh, hey Arnold was the football. Oh my god, that was one of your favorites. Right? Amanda show. Amanda yeah, that was pretty show. good. I, I really like that. that. It's where Drake and Doc come from. Yeah. Uh, they're side characters so, in the Amanda show. Oh, really? yeah, Wait, let's get character. back on top of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Harry Noble's kind of this football head-shaped kid. I was not a big fan. Who was, uh, hey, who had a, someone that like teased him hey, and both like kind of like stalked him at the same time. All I remember, literally the only thing I remember <coughs> is like from one scene of Hey Arnold's, uh, other than the opening like theme, the only thing I remember is one scene in which they were in a house that was made of wood and I remember the walls. Those well, houses like, are actually. Oh, but no, house. but I remember the wall pattern on the like you know how our walls aren't just wood, they're like 
you know, but this wall was like it had the pattern of Because like he lives upstairs. I, I like Tayar. Yeah, it was a decent show, yeah, show, but it's not a show that like I'm going to, uh, like I remember like specific a, episodes. I was never of. a huge fan of Hey Arnold. I don't remember any, like, if you asked me to name a, an episode of Hey Arnold right now, I probably could not do it. I feel like Arnold was probably an episode of Hey Arnold, like just the word Arnold. Uh, Arnold! A... <coughs> that's the worst Hey name. Arnold! Like that's the whole opening theme. I remember there was a girl that used to like be obsessed. Yeah, with. she had like a unibrow. She was like, she always. Oh pulling yeah. Him. She called him football head, but she was like desperately in love with him. I yeah. thought that was a sister. No, 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 no that would be really a different type of show. <laughs> <laughs> hey Oedipus! <laughs> hey Oedipus! <laughs> Game of Hey Arnold's. Yeah. Uh, um, Doug. I don't care about Doug. I hate Doug. I actually did like Doug. I had the movie. Doug. I wait, I have one of the movies. I never liked Doug the movie. movie. I liked the movie. Doug's very first movie. It's called. Doug's very yes. I had that. I still have it on VHS in my basement. I'm a big fan. Were you a fan of Patty Mayonnaise? This is a girl that he was into, right? Yeah, this is a girl. So. Patty Mayonnaise. Oh! Her name is fucking Patty really Mayonnaise. I didn't really care about her. Yeah, what's her name? She, I didn't really care about her much. She was actually she had a weird, like, friend ironically, with some sort of gangrene else, or some okay. issue. <laughs> Does anybody else remember that show? I think We're, it like, might getting have so. been Hey Arnold. But, like, it was like... Yeah, we talked about it a couple <laughs> seconds ago. No, no, hey, no, I mean, it might have been Doug. But it was like... Yeah, we're talking about it now. No, it was the... <laughs> it was like, they were like... It was the same kind of like animation style and it was like a cafeteria and there was like a... There's a there couple was, cafeterias. There was like... Pe- no, there was like... There was a place in which they would like... These two evil people would like monitor the school. That's a totally different show. Let me touch your face. No, do you remember the show though? Yes. <laughs> Let me accept you. Okay. Tell me what show it is. Flying, Flying Junior, Junior, High. Junior High. Wait, really? Yes. Anything is possible... Flying around, around junior, junior high. high. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a guy, like a weird guy in a hat, like a domino mask and a cape, and he had his like evil rat partner too. That was a warp And they constantly awesome like, show. oh, it was Whenever an awesome, cool, Doug, weird show. I automatically think of that for some reason. <laughs> a much better <laughs> I show. Watched that, I watched them around the same time. <laughs> you you like are mixing up your children. Me. Do you remember Doug uh, okay. when it was flying Everything, around junior like, high? Everything, like, you guys remember watching as a kid. Like, I also watched as a kid, right? But I watched it as, like, a I young kid. Oh, I... Like, a young, young kid. Because we watched it, like... Thank you one... for saying I watched Doug as a child. No, <laughs> no, 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 like... That had some know, pretty advanced No, but, like, so. all these things, like, you know, like, you're talking about these things, and it's like, hey, yep, Arnold, yeah, and, like, yeah. the, the magic school and stuff. Like, I watched these things, but when I was really, really young... And, like, I don't have much memory from before I was six. So, like, I don't I remember do. this stuff. I, 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 I got memory from when I was three. I yeah, know you I have, like, some really weird words, too. Like, I remember falling off the thingy. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Raven, what about Dexter's Laboratory? Dexter's Laboratory was a really good show. Actually, uh, that's the one of the shows that, that did kind of, like, an episode that actually kind of got banned. Because uh, it was kind of too intense. They like anyway. the, the kind of, like, the nasty word episode type of the one. Uh, I it, actually actually really that the ep- there was an episode <coughs> of uh, Powerpuff Girls too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a the, the toilet monster. But Dexter like, had an mouth. episode that was like really no, wasn't wasn't about that. Like Dexter had one like just it just got banned. Like that one episode showed once, so kind of like uh, but it didn't like Can hurt the show. Can you find the episode? I want to watch it now. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. It's Why not. It's not yeah. on the. Uh, on, I have the first season of Dexter actually over there, okay. and I may no, but oh. I, I I may have that through nefarious sources. Okay. Our, our Why is it banned? Uh, you can find it on YouTube too. Oh, like oh. Dexter drops an F bomb. <coughs> no, no, it's like a, it's just around, like some stuff, stuff. Stuff. fucking Dee Dee. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just oh, it's no. just episode where he takes Dee and he just slowly says solder head out or something like that. Dexter dot <laughs> 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 right, um, What else we got here? What else? Uh, we, got here? we got Rugrats. Oh, Rugrats was an amazing too. I loved Rugrats. On fu- the guy that played the grandfather of the Rugrats, of course, he's passed away now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Rugrats like brought on another show, which was all grown up. Rugrats all grown up. I love how we talked about like Rugrats for a single second. No, no, we're going to go back to Rugrats. Just wanted to mention that show. Rugrats was awesome. Not really talking the other one. I actually had a giant. Uh, do you remember this? That I had a giant. Reptile. Chucky. Chucky. Oh, that's right. You had the yeah. big Chucky. Oh, like life size Chucky is bigger than me. I a had a book that was in the shape of that kid. I don't remember the name of, but he was like he had glasses and he had like Chucky. Like, Chucky. Yeah. I had a book that was in the shape of him. Okay. Oh, I was talking yeah. about him Imagine building sand castles. I with you and like <laughs> just like repeating like. <laughs> I don't know these things. Okay. Tommy Pickles. I don't know these things. Dill pickles. My mind is filled with K-pop and other languages. I don't know these things. <laughs> uh, I loved Rugrats. I love watching those shows when you're a kid. I, I found didn't it really, really care for the Rugrats I liked when I was Rugrats a kid, a but I would like to rewatch it. 
I it's fucking hated shit. Angelica. It she went was, from 91 to 2004, though, didn't it? Like, <clears throat> like yeah, it was a, and after... It ran for a long time. It ran for a, quite a while. After it went, then the spin-off series of Grown Up came out, which yeah. I did Yeah, because... Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think Disney it. got... I'm, like, a little bit sad that I remember that. The stuff well, in, yeah, because, like, basically, uh, it, it went from being Tommy to yeah. kind of, like, Dill's show, really. No, no, Tommy was still a major character, but Dill was actually, like, a legitimate part of it now. Yeah, he was, like, but he Dill was like, became more of a... He was, no, part. he was very much the jughead of the Dill series. Dill Pickles? <coughs> actually, that's what I was thinking. Because he, like, <coughs> he's a side character, but he's always wearing a hat, and he's really odd. He's a more interesting character. Yeah. We're actually, we'll get into Jughead. Like, Doctor Who? A little bit later, as we'll talk about. Uh, we're probably we're gonna touch on we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna touch on Riverdance. Riverdance! <laughs> we're gonna on touch River... on Riverdance? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't Pizza know. If, flame. I don't know if movies are working out. We're gonna have to talk about dance. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's movies that you remember that. Story. Right. Nobody wants to listen to it. Um, okay. 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 We're gonna move on to Fraggle Rock because I want to get that one out of the way. Dance cares away. Worries for mm-hmm. another okay. day. Let I've never play. seen it, but I you love. You haven't no, seen Fraggle Rock? Rock? No, I've seen Fraggle Rock. Is a really cool show. Let it's kind of like him out of the window. <clears throat> Jim Henson, like. Uh, did this really amazing show called Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock was from my era. Uh, basically, I there was like Fraggle Rock, and it also has a, had a spinoff cartoon. Uh, no, the original Fraggle Rock, though, you'd see like a live action. It was a Canadian actor, and he was which was kind of like this uh, dog, this puppet, like Muppet type dog character, uh, Barclay or something like that. I think his name was. Okay. And uh, so every episode, like they'd come out, and like the dog would see him bark, bark him. So the Fraggles would kind of do their you know the fraggle thing they really like the fraggles and the do- and the dozers and the dozers w- were like these guys that were like were like working all the time and the fraggles would eat the stuff that the dogers because c- the dozers would make their stuff out of radishes uh make these like clear tubes of radishes and make like buildings and stuff and the frags would eat those and like steal radishes from the uh from this patch by these like guys these big kind of troll type guys outside and they go to what's was called like this this all-knowing like trashy like uh character but the coolest part the part that everybody looked forward to every episode of Fraggle Rock was Uncle Traveling Matt uh, the lead character in the show had a, had a, had a, uh, a Matt who, Uncle Traveling Matt who pretty much goes into real life uh, world and he's like talking about his experiences and like you know traveling on a plane and doing all these kinds of normal things but he's misinterprets like everything that he sees hilariously wrong and you, I gotta show some Uncle Traveling Matt later on on YouTube uh, it's just Really this, fine. Like it? vaguely reminds me of the uh, like uncle and aunt <coughs> segments on uh, <coughs> Big Comfy Couch. No, it's, it's well, no, it sounds like different. But like when you said like oh, Uncle Traveling Matt, Big Couch like really they'd good. always be like, oh, and they'd always like halfway through the episode and be like, oh, and look, oh, I got a letter from my uncle Traveling Matt, and then oh, I said, Big Comfy Couch like too young of a show for this, like, not like too young of a show, it's but like for too. Too for like two young kids of a show. Because I know, like, Dad said we weren't going to talk about kid kid shows. Yeah, but no, I I loved Fraggle Rock. It was a big one in my in, for my generation. I heard that this is coming back. Uh, I have no is idea. That true that I heard it's coming I back. I don't know, but I did watch it as a kid as well because you had a DVD of Fraggle Rock episodes, and I would watch it. I just oh, yeah. remember the theme song. Okay, okay. think of Fraggle Rock. There's a show. What's it called again? It's like it was like Ard Ark Arn with the. It was like an alien, like puppet guy, and he would come down. This guy would like build stuff. Oh, Our... oh, I know what you're talking about. It's kind of a creepy ass show. What was it called? Creepy show. Well, what was it called? It was like three letters. It started with A. Remember, I had a, I had a. Disney oh, oh, you mean? I loved are you talking it. about Al? Yes, Al. Yeah. Elf, Elf, <laughs> Willie. <clears throat> Al, I love Al. <laughs> Elf is like when you were describing Elf. it. I was like, that can't be Elf. Elf is dead, right? Isn't it? I think that took that Elf died or something like that. Makes sense. Now you're talking oh. about the character, which possibly yeah. yes as well. Max Wright is still alive. I think the guy that played the, uh, I think the guy that played like the uh, the dad, and yeah. Elf. Uh, he was also the dad in Fraternity Vacation. Yeah. Random. <laughs> Elf was stood for alien life form, and it was about an alien that on his planet, there the delicacy that they had to eat was was cats. So it's always like saying he's going to eat the cat. I don't remember that part. <laughs> yeah, he's always saying he's going to eat the cat, but him and the cat actually, because that him and the family cat actually become friends, but they're. He kind of is always like begrudgingly oh, talks about going to like eat the cat. When the when it became a cartoon show, we actually got to find out what Elf's real name was, and it was Gordon Shumway. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah. I prefer Elf though. 
they call them Elf for, for short. The serious Elf yeah, actually, like Shelley. many of the shows, ended on a very dark note though. Yeah, uh, did he die? He got abducted. He got abducted by the by the army. And he like starts to get like he's about to get like he's about to get, Yeah, he's about to get taken home, and but then the army, this army guy takes him. And it I was on a so into that when I was like nine. No, but they have a don't worry, they have a movie where he escapes. Okay, good. So, was it, what did you say the name of Gordon <laughs> what? Gordon Shumway. Shumway. Gordon Shumway, okay. So like Gordon Shumway is a pretty good show. <laughs> Hell. Next We love Gordon Shumway. Ha! Willie! Ha, Gordon. <laughs> Next thing, every time you say no, that, it the, sounds like you're like having a heart attack. <laughs> Willie's the what is the the death? I know. Gordon Shumway. Babar. Loved Babar. I did not. Loved Babar. Only one who loved Babar. I did. And <laughs> Babar is so like... Boring. Is, it was I, boring I used to read you the kid. books when you were a kid. You used to like the books. The books are fine when I was very, very young, <clears throat> but I'm going to a coma just thinking about Babar. <laughs> Babar actually <laughs> was him. narrated Bagar. by a Bagar. very, very famous Bagar. Newfoundland Bagar. actor Bagar. By, the name of, by the name of Gordon Pinson. Gordon yeah. Pinson is an amazing actor. Great guy. Uh, and he's, you know, he, he narrated, and he did an amazing job. Babar has this kind of regal tone. To oh, it when he's talking, <clears throat> and that is the bar may have been really friggin' boring, but he had like a smooth voice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. But I can... ASMR with Babar. <laughs> oh. ASM Babar. Uh, ASMR was, was cool. cool. ASMR with Babar. I think I think if think you guys watch Babar yes. nowadays, you'd probably get the well, nuances. Yeah, nowadays, I go you'd probably to sleep. The nuances no, and subtle in your windows. A Babar that you did not get. I would, I would get it, but then. I'd still be bored. No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, <laughs> I got it before. You, I didn't get it when I was younger. Like, you'd be like this. You'd be like, the time the, thing. I could like, not with the my elephant eyes have and opened. the time. My eyes have opened to the amazingness. Yeah, it was always confusing to me. Like, Babar. whenever it switched from like modern day like, adventures with Babar's kids I literally thought to Babar that, as a kid. I literally, when I was a kid, I literally thought that Babar, like Babar's kid, would go on adventures dressed like his dad in the daytime. <laughs> But at night, his dad would like. Tell it's really him, like, confusing because they hang out him. with the monkey, and he's the same age. Like he doesn't change at all. So they're hanging out with the monkey, and I'm like, okay, so there's Babar, and then like, like I, I, I thought Babar, I thought Big Babar was Babar's dad, I thought, I thought, and I didn't know why he didn't <laughs> hang out with the other kids. <laughs> Serious? I just understand. No, but no, she goes back and forth. And the right? rhino doesn't change ages either, so it's really confusing. And I don't even remember the kid's <laughs> name. Dude, it's fucking Babar, Babar, and other characters. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. It's so much. hard to comprehend. Gordon Pinson did a great job as in Babar. narrating. <laughs> What's the <laughs> next one on the list here? Winnie the Pooh. You guys, okay, you guys probably, if, a lot of you guys here are probably newer to my channel or came on when the exploitation stuff or when I did a lot of the Scream Factory and Vinegar Syndrome. Pooh what Pooh you may Pooh not Pooh realize is that I'm a huge uh, Pooh Pooh Winnie the Pooh fan. Pooh if you watched when I started collecting VHS, a lot of my VHS in the background there are a lot of Winnie the Pooh. Of VHS, actually. <clears throat> I got the Heffalump movie, all the Pooh movies. I actually got a couple of versions of the main, what, main Pooh movies. Me and you watched the Tigger movie song. <clears throat> yes, when I was a kid, I loved Tigger so much. We watched the Tigger movie a lot. Quick, we the, the song. I don't, I the watched Tigger it when song? I was like Do you know six. what? Do you remember it? Um, all I remember is the end of it was the, uh, all it's I really remember, depressing. If all you I remember is Tigger it. being really sad. Yeah, like, because the, la the end of the song is, uh, I remember Tigger being really it. sad, like, and like low key relating to Piglet, who was always like, "Should we do this?" Uh, Tigger was never always really sad. Tigger was a real upbeat one. It was no, too Piglet. Upbeat. A Piglet. <laughs> like, Tigger. What was the end of the song? It's like the wonderful thing uh, with Tigger. Tigger's, Tigger's a wonderful thing. thing. <clears throat> Uh, it always ended with like. I didn't think Tigger. <laughs> the most wonderful thing about Tigger is that's horrible. Uh, <laughs> the most wonderful thing about Tigger is that I'm the only one. Yeah, that's, I'm that's the entire premise that's of the movie. That's so yes, sad. Yes, but most of the time when he sings that song, it's a happy song. It's only the Tigger but movie. But if you don't like, only that if you brings it into like I'm the only one. Because if you think about it, no, if you listen to the full length of the song, depressing. it's really depressing. Yeah, but it's not. But normally when he sings, the it, great it's, thing about being happy. Tigger is yes. that only I am during the Tigger movie alone that he changed it. Really. And will yeah. never <laughs> have anyone that is Tigger related movie is great. to me. I don't have a family. Honestly, the Tigger movie ends pretty sad. Tigger's sad. He doesn't have a family. No, like but that it, isn't resolved. It is. It is resolved. No, it's resolved in sort of a how he has a family in them, how but he doesn't uh, have like you know. No. Like, because no, that's it's, the thing. It isn't can, one of those like final well, stories and other stuff. Like, if no, it's, Tigger, if Tigger does someone who's close enough to Tigger's species, can they have another Tigger? What an odd question. And no, Tigger. there can't be because 
Tigger is the only one. There's <laughs> nothing near a Tigger. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I'm like Tiger. a Leon. <laughs> but here's the thing. Uh, the whole th premise of the Tigger movie, which is not supposed to be sad, is supposed to talk about unconventional families. That yeah. the people, that although you may not have a family in the conventional sense of the words, the people that, that love you, the people that are around you, are, that's Tigger what family is by far my favorite. Well, actually, technically, we're I... we kind of got off topic because Piglet. We're mainly focused on this the TV show. This is a movie. Shows. This is nothing to do with anything. <clears throat> and there was that. Did anyone else like the the fan theory of the where they all represent a different mental disorders? It's alright. I love that. I love. I'd say that Tigger is my favorite character, and he is. Cool. But I ha he? I hold a deep place in my heart for Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore. Eeyore. That's because he has depression, and you are sad. <laughs> 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 no. Everybody loves you. Thanks. Oh god. It's no, like it's everything that's sad in anything we've I ever guess. like enjoyed together. You're like, I like that sad thing. I like sad. Things. I guess my tail is gonna probably come off again. Have you seen the? Have you seen you the? You can paint it Have you seen the? Have you seen the clip right. from? One yeah. Of the, have you seen the clip of of the like one of the more recently animated shows? I think it might be Family Guy with the like. It was like, like, Tigger, or Eeyore, why are you always so sad? And he was like, there's a nail in my ass. And he was like, oh. Yeah, it's yeah, a family guy. Yeah, probably, that's family probably guy why. Joke. <coughs> um, yeah, family guy. Well, it used to be fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You we like podcasts again. I feel like, e I feel like Eeyore tried to commit suicide a lot. Well. <laughs> I feel like behind the scenes, Pooh and Tigger were like frantically running around trying to make sure Eeyore... So no, I, I think Eeyore... No, that's Piglet. We're just talking too much about Pooh Bear, but that is Piglet. Like, Piglet is constantly in a state of absolute panic. Well, that's because he has an anxiety disorder. Okay, here's the thing. I kind of, this is horrible, but I kind of picture, like, Piglet kind of being, like, Pooh Bear's bottom. <laughs> and, like, you know, like, Pooh <laughs> with the, like, like, there's an episode of early Family Guy where they're just, like, having a normal, like, talk. Well, well uh, you know, Peter's putting on, like, the... Like the get mask and all the stuff, and he says, "You know what's the safer for the night?" <laughs> and then lots just out. But yeah, I can picture that oh, with Pooh, with Pooh and Pooh and Piglet. Nah. <laughs> that's horrifying. But yes, yeah. nah. <laughs> don't ruin Piglet. <laughs> I love Piglet. Oh, I'm so. No, weird. it's too late. <laughs> I should know. I actually, Piglet's I related there. to Piglet so much as a kid because I was a really nervous kid, and all my friends would be like, "Let's go do this thing," and I was like, "Should we really do that?" I don't. Yeah, Piglet is always... Like, it was, things, it was like regular <coughs> kid stuff, like jumping off swings, yeah. and I was all like, I'm so nervous about Piglet. Piglet is the one in character that most people can actually relate to. Because, because he's panicking, he has... and life is scary. <laughs> I related no, because... to, like, Tigger and Eeyore the most. I related to... Eeyore. <laughs> I related to... I related to, um... Who related to Christopher Robin? I related to the owl, and I related to... The owl's cool. And I related to Piglet, because the I... owl had a stutter. I don't know, I always pictured you as, and, like... like like rabbit, I'm I'm gonna regret oh. asking this. Yeah. But which Winnie Pooh character did you? You're think rabbit. Of? Oh no, she was never rabbit. <clears throat> I feel like you were like Pooh. I was that yeah. If I was you were Pooh. <clears throat> yeah. Simple-mindedly sure. happy. <laughs> yeah. But like I, I don't know if you're ever that simple-mindedly happy. Like I think no no he is Pooh because <clears throat> Pooh has an obsessive compulsion to <laughs> eating honey and Dad has an obsessive compulsion to buy movies. Yeah, like that be that would be your honey. Oh. Like, if someone mentioned movies, you'd be like, movies? Literally, like, it, like... <laughs> Does someone have a Poo jar of movies? almost die several times, <laughs> like, like, like casually oh. almost die, like, falling yeah, off the pit or something, side, or, like, like a bunch of times. honey? He'd, like, just step onto a branch and be like, oh, honey. Yeah, yeah. like, that's... Dad would do that for movies. There's, like, a movie in the distance, and Dad's like, oh, let me go look at it. And there's, like, cars <laughs> going past, and we're like, yeah, Dad, I've wait. Done that. I mean, like, we've been going to, like, yard sales and stuff, and movies... I saw a movie tail crop show and I see something getting close to it. I'm like, I'm going on ahead. I like, there's cars. <laughs> I'm like, fuck the cars. He didn't like, he didn't oh. even use a spoon. He just dug his hands in there, the honey, and that's that. Yeah. Just digging your hands into the honey. Um, it gives me a happy rumbling tail in my tummy. <laughs> <clears throat> you did that more like Alpha 5. I liked the owl a uh, lot because alpha the owl... owl, aye, owl aye. I really liked owl because owl would stutter a lot, but, it, but he was really intelligent. And like that was like my favorite part because he was like... Interesting little fact. Uh, that was like the same as me. I didn't know stutter, but like I found it hard to speak to people because I was really nervous as kids. I could see him as owl. I yeah. don't know. I feel like owl was a little bit too timid for him. I feel like him would be more like... Owl's not timid, really. I feel owl's like, like him would be a little bit more like a mix between, I don't mean between, between Tigger and the rabbit. 
like happy, but like angry happy. We don't know anybody no. who is the mole. Happy. We don't the anyone mole? who's the mole. Who's the mole again? He like popped up and he's like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like but, like but not like that. It's like, like, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like him would be like, hello, boo. Like, I feel like him would be like, oh, hey, Kiara, I, I feel like, like him would like be Christopher Robin because she was like, that's fine. She was like lit, like because it's like it's literally like. It's who's the one that grounds everybody? Because that's who he is. That's me. Christopher Robin. No, okay. that would that'd be uh, that'd be a rabbit. Robin's rabbit like constantly like get pissed off at people. And well, no, like, but it's the thing. That, but no, no, but like Hans more like Hans yeah. not really like, getting pissed off at us. No, she's like, not. I will teach you. Sit down and learn my children. I like. And, like yeah. I, I wouldn't like say she's Robin like the teacher. She's like, I wouldn't say Owl yeah. because Owl's thing mm-hmm. was that he would consistently teach people stuff. But well, he always got it wrong. wrong. No, That's but why I related. Al didn't get it wrong. No, he did. They he... got the things wrong that Al would say. No, no, no. He, got he was illiterate. Too. He consistently, he'd pick up a book. And he'd pretend. read it. Yeah, he'd right, pretend yeah. to read it. And he'd completely get it wrong. He'd be like, yeah. Yeah. oh, this is what it means. Yeah, yeah. and he'd be like, oh, okay. Wow, what, about, what, about, what about Rue? Do you remember when this was about different shows? When is the Pooh still TV show? Yeah, no. We've clearly gotten to the part where we're talking about like stuff a little bit more. Which is why we'll get through the other two that aren't important right now. Uh, uh, Lizzie McGuire. Okay, yeah, I have this. That's okay, Cheryl. I actually met Lizzie McGuire. So, yeah. She's, <clears throat> she, Water! Like, oh my god, yeah! <laughs> I feel like... The movie reference. See, I feel like... Li- I j- don't judge me. I feel like Lizzie McGuire is a little bit of a slut. I mean, what the hell? Lizzie McGuire was this, like, little kid. And it was yeah, just like... a little kid. What kind of gimmick was that? Like I always felt like kid. Gorda. Like I was Gorda. <clears throat> I did not relate to anybody. I just like the animated Meyer. segments. To be totally honest with you, it was all right. I like the fact that Keith uh, Carradine was on it. Was, was Keith Carradine? Next one. One of the Carradines, right? Proud Family. No, I wasn't talking about that yet. Uh, oh, well, then we crossed it out. We crossed it out. We're talking about it now. Proud Family was all right. That was okay. Show. Deep, insightful. Boy, that was some good Kush. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Okay, it was like. It was like kind of came in late and it like had some good episodes, but it was never anything that really stood out. <clears throat> All right, now. Okay, this one's nice. Zoe One. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Zoe One One is a good show. It. That one like, was my childhood. It was, it was a really good Dad show. Dad took the time over the years to burn off every single episode of every single season of Zoe One on a disc so that I could watch it all. Yeah, basically, mm-hmm. it, at the time you could you couldn't get it anywhere, and. Actually, not too long ago, Dollar Ant, my doll, local Dollar Ant, my head, so I went on seasons one and two. So I went, it, it was it was my my lunch break was over, I was going to grab it for you. Uh, I went back to work, I came back to get it for you, and it was gone. <clears throat> it's very hard to get seasons of Zoe 101. Oh, that's her, that's because that's everybody favorite sees show. it and it's like, I need it in my life. It's, a cool it's perfect. And you know what's really cool about Zoe 101? The, uh, the lead actor for most of the series when the series is really good and at the top of its game as a kid show, uh, he's the grandson of famous swashbuckling actor Earl Flynn. Oh, really? <clears throat> he's Sean a Flynn. cool guy. Um, I would say that the last season a little bit falls apart because he's not in it. Because the, the actor that they choose is actually a fairly bad Oh, actor. are we talking about he's, Chase? He's the character. He's, no. Is, is that his name? Chase is a good one. I always just called him Block of Wood. Zoe's crush, Chase. Or, no, 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 no. No. He had a Chase. crush on Zoe. No, no, the guy that comes in at the end, this kind of this really block bland, of wood. blonde-haired guy that can't act very well. The block of wood guy. Oh, He's, I don't It's like, like every time, like, the oxygen is stuck in the room. No, it's, no, you're <laughs> going to draw wood. I'm going to draw wood. <laughs> uh, but no, I, that was one of the one of the few, like, really good shows. Of course, there's other shows, like, we're not going to really get into, like, Hannah Montana, which, yeah. which was an okay show for what right. it was. Um, it slowly broke. But, uh... It did. Like I watched. It made that no girl. sense. I mean, like, it, like it's a All kid right. show. It made no sense. Let me just look at this list here. Um, we've Let's got four more shows. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five more shows. Count. I guess we will talk first because Gargoyles. this is the one we're going to talk about least because it's my favorite show, and uh, Wes is garbage. Um, I have never seen it. You gotta watch it. Gargoyles fan, is. One of my favorite cartoon See, shows of all time. The problem that I have with Gargoyles... Have here's, here's the secret answer to this. Huh. The problem that I have with Gargoyles is that I'm not into the whole, like, mystic, like, stuff, like, things take on, like, 
the, you know, like the... No, but you're just speaking... No, like the whole, like, myst... You know, I was like, it's like mystic and old stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm not really into all that mystic Trust me, once stuff. you watch Gargoyles, you'll no, watch Gargoyles it. Gargoyles is great. It's one of those shows when you... It's with modern times, and it's really good. It's one of those like, shows where you can't actually say... You can say, well, there's these Gargoyles, and they come to life, and they fight things, and there's this episode where somebody gets shot with a gun. Yeah, that was a cool episode. <clears throat> and... And people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. But when you watch it... And like Macbeth like, is a big villain. Yeah. And you're like, but when you watch it, you actually, oh, this actually is really good. Uh, it, I've never seen it. I feel like one of the reasons I might like it a lot is because one of my favorite depressing. live action shows is... No, it's not that. No, but it looks depressing. Um, it one of my dark. favorite live action shows is, 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 is as you guys know, Angel. Emo. Yeah. I really love Angel. And it has a very... A show. Even like Candle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I don't doubt it. I'm not emo, thank you. Yes, you are. You're the emotional one. You hide behind memes, but you are a broken person. (laughs) 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 But it has a very similar aesthetic to that. Like, it's a cartoon line. The aesthetic. The aesthetic is emo. Like, it it takes place in a dark city. There's a lot of, like... there's there's, Dark city with Rufus Tula. There's a lot of, like, mysticism in the city, and I'm really into that. Uh... And there's also, like, the Macbeth storyline very much parallels Holtz from, like, Angel Season 3. Yeah, this was with, kind of like, their take on With like it that. going back and, like, showing that, like, Desdemona did stuff to him in the past and See, the no. Gargoyles had a huge effect on his well, history. Well, they wanted to show they could do a serious thing with this thing and it wasn't just, like, they wanted to show, like, okay, we can it do Batman. It was very Batman. serious. We can it do was, our Batman the Animated Series. Honestly? And did a great job. It was more serious than Batman was. Like, like Batman was great, but, like... Which, by the way, we didn't talk about Batman the Animated Series. Excellent show. I was wondering um, if it was good to count it in because I felt like if we included Batman the Animated Series, we would have gone to a lot of Yeah, I think we should, if it was superhero shows, we should make yeah, it. We'll, yeah, leave that, we'll leave that for yeah. another thing. Yeah. But um, you guys are interested in hearing us talk about superhero cartoons and different ones through their generations. Leave a comment down below. Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, but no, Gargoyles, uh, like, it was way more serious with certain things. The show starts. With the whole, like, almost all their race getting murdered. Well, that's a big epic, like, epic It's a five-parter too. start, like, I think it yeah. is. Um, and it's really, like, really good. Um, Back when she was... a pilot movie instead. It, it, no, it, it was. It did actually... Oh. It, it spin off to pilot called Gargoyles the Beginning or something. It's, like that. it's called Gargoyles the Beginning, and it's the first five episodes. It pretty much ties together. It's this big movie. It's on VHS. Okay. Um, but, like, like, just the first premise is, like, Desdemona's technically is, like, wife. And she betrays them and gets, like, all of them killed. And, like, there, there's so much. And later on, when you get uh, to Angela, I think her name is. I like Angela. Which is, there, there's no concept of, like, direct children for gargoyles in their race. But, like... How do you make more gargoyles? They have eggs. And it's considered all a part of the brood. Like, there's no one's direct children. But it's all considered the next line. Get- how, they they fuck. They have gargoyle fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> then, wait, then don't... Can't they just make more gargoyles? No, because the only other female gargoyle in existence at this point is evil. But I mean, it just because you're evil doesn't mean you're not hot, up for No, no, she, like, she, tries, to, she tries to get with him at the beginning, but he learns she basically killed their entire race. He's, he's, I mean, he's like, a, But he's a no... He's like a really no... But like, character. you find... Okay, you, well, if he's that... No, you no. find out later... That uh, they did have it, like one of the eggs that was remaining that was taken by like these other people, was even though they like as I mentioned they don't have real direct children because they consider it part of the brood, and that's actually like a big part of the storyline. Is this uh, gargoyle named Angela, who is him did and Desdemona? No, <laughs> <laughs> it's Disney still. It's it's it's, 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 uh, her, it's Goliath. But they could it's, fuck her. Yes, it's not it's, Goliath. It's the main know. character. It's the main character Goliath and Desdemona, the evil one's daughter, but. Like, for a while, one of the big storylines is that she wants to, like, she accepts him as she her father, is. and she wants his acceptance, but because he's from the old ways, he doesn't, like, he can't see her like that, because, like, even though it's clear and, like, she knows that it was him who, like, made her. It was him who fucked her mom. Yes, it was <laughs> It was him and Desdemona, that's her parents, but because of the way that gargoyles work, he refuses to accept it, and his... Human first, girlfriend yeah. sort of thing because they could make a half human half gargoyle like I think baby. that is well, talked a cop, about. Right? She's a cop. That is, I think that is like talked about in like some of the extended stuff. 
Like, uh, having a happy like there's, yeah, there's a comic book series because the show ended in after three seasons, and a show, and yeah. a, I think it was a smaller third season actually. Yeah, small third season was a bit wild. Uh, but uh, yeah, they didn't give it. The show needed more of a chance. It's, it's so good. Uh, okay, so Gargoyles was just an amazing show. You, I gotta show you Gargoyles. I have all of it. I'm up to watching Gargoyles, well, but not, not DVD, this weekend but... because I no, have not this weekend still. A midterm exam on Tuesday, so. Yeah. Okay. So what's next? Uh, I want to do a. I mean, you can watch it. Like I wonder if Kim Possible next, because okay. it's the one we have the least to say about the one we're writing for. Writing for. You don't like it, Dad. Why don't you like it? Oh, I do like it. I just don't think that it stands Dad, the test lying. of time. stop lying. You hate it. <laughs> it doesn't stand the test of time. Look into their eyes and tell them you don't like the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's really good. It, I like Kim I like Possible? It. Unstoppable? No, I won't so, lie to you. I can, this year in Halloween, I know the song. a girl in my Nora school the went amazing. as Kim Possible Maybe. for Halloween. I hope really? Was, yes. So when I was boss, I was going to school this year, probably. Oh, that's perfect. Now, I think... And in middle school, yeah. the whole three years that I was there, there was somebody, I don't know who it was, but there was somebody in the school who had, like, a phone, and their ringtone, it would go off in the cafeteria, and it was the boop, 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 boop from Kim Possible. Add a that's single cool. more boot, and it's Power Rangers. Yeah, no, but it was it that would go off. It was once every single year that would play in the cafeteria nice. at lunch. Like, that was it. You want to sit? Yeah, the first time we me, me and my friends heard it, we were like. I have to admit that I watched the like a video recently on uh, like talking about like <clears throat> Kim and Ron's relationship and if there was any hints at it like earlier in the season. And, like as I watched bits of it, I was like, man, I really like. Impossible. It was a good show. It was a good senior, show. I mean, senior, like, senior, 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 junior. There were some funny characters like in the series. I guess the later series of Kim Possible really soured me on the series, and, and I find that can happen. I mean, like if you if you go back and you're just watching the later episodes, I don't think they stand up to the earlier episodes. Later episodes, I don't watch it in order. Then. I do not remember a single thing after uh, Ron and Kim get together. Yeah, I guess like that. Really... I didn't know there was a season after that. Yeah, there, there was. was. Yeah. I thought they got together. I... In the show. <gasps> yeah, that's oh, what you thought. Yeah. That's what Charles thought when I told him about it. And I was like, no, there was a full season. I just yeah. don't remember it. That's exactly. so cute. Yeah, I want to watch. it. I want to because... see their dynamic. That's so. Cute. Maybe in a different. I'm still a hopeless universe, romantic. In a different parallel universe, it ended when they got together. I am a weak man for romance. And then you are the one. Gay. Yep. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You like this? Oh, 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 you got on you, camera. You got your word plays in on me, you goose. Um, okay, so we're down to, we're down okay, to we're so down to the final three. We have the final three here, but these are the big three. These I'm are big three. We, we were waiting go, on these. I'm thinking well, we should go. Well, there's two that we want to talk about, like. So we'll talk together. About this. So, we're gonna so talk about... should we talk about film one first? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk about film one. Out of all of the Disney afternoon shows that ever came out, in my personal public public opinion, public opinion, public my opinion, public Dad's opinion. making a public address now. <laughs> the verdict is finally out. Who wins the Disney? <laughs> Fillmore is the most underrated show that Disney ever Good did. Gosh. To God. I may not say it's the the. I'm not saying it's the 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 best. But it's the top in the top two. It's number two, of the of the Disney shows that came out. In my humble <laughs> opinion, in my humble public opinion. In your humble public <laughs> okay. opinion. Okay, but uh, Prime no. Minister Fillmore Aaron, was, is there anything else you need to say about Fillmore? Fillmore was a show that basically dealt with like uh, talked about. Well, back in the seventies and talked about. Back in the seventies, there was a bunch of like uh, detective shows like they, that were done by a company called Quinn Martin, and the way that the uh, series was like. Shows like Barnaby Jones and stuff like that. And the way they were broken up is that they'd be done in chapters. And they'd go like to like, you know, chapter one and then and then we'll come back on after commercial like chapter two and have a name on it. You know, like that they, was like chapter favorite two of the, part of it. Fillmore did that. They like paid tribute. Now nobody that was a kid knew what the Quinn Martin the productions were at the no. at the time, except if the adults but that were watching. It was it. so good. But it was, it was like such a awesome cool noir It was like a good drama. show. It was a good yeah. show for kids because they could enjoy the mystery aspect, and it was a good show for the adults watching their kids because they could understand the references. Exactly, so we could get all the references that that because there was a yeah. lot. It was a show. It was layered like even that. Yeah, even as a kid, <laughs> like you, you got to appreciate how they did the mysteries. Yeah, and because like, like, like mysteries that would like seem like murder. Like, instead of having a murder, they had the one where, 
um, this guy's got a Tamagashi, essentially. Yeah. And it dies, and you have to find out who killed his Tamagashi, because it's the longest living Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. He's Tamagotchi. Yeah. Tam Tamagotchi. Fine, Tamagotchi, whatever. Okay. Tamagotchi. That's I'll, like oh. saying a corn. Okay, 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 go, 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 it's the longest, it's been going on since I think a grade five, they said. It's been there go up for years. And like, that's their mystery. It's not a real murder, it's like the murder of the Tamagotchi. Which is more important, to be honest. Yeah, honestly. People die every day. Tamagotchis do not. Well, yeah, yeah, every yeah, second they die. Just keep them alive. <laughs> but um, no, well, that's even cooler. They even reference like it's things that, you know, that kids aren't going to gonna get, but they're going to really enjoy, but the adults are going to have a lot of fun with. And that was what really made this show. I mean, like, there's an episode, and I mentioned it to you guys, yeah. where they have a Hannibal Lecter character. Yeah. Uh, and it basically, he he's like, uh, what do you call those guys again? Oh, my God. He's a graffiti artist? Yeah, graffiti artist. The and, dude. Yeah, he's, dude. Yeah, pretty much he's, he's a graffiti artist. Doodly doodly doo. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Doodly doodly doo. gonna rape your kids. Doodly doodly doo. But no, it's like, and he's like, and they're trying to like solve like this this mystery, and they're going to this Hannibal Lecter type character. Obviously, the kids aren't gonna pick him up. They're on the sons of the lambs. <laughs> they're really, really uh, you know, kids, kids are known for Advanced this. Silver. Yeah, but uh, mm. but there's all kinds of stuff like that. But there's seventies like cop shows, um, sons of the lambs, like horror movie references, all kinds of stuff. Guys, I think my favorite really part is how in hey, every Chief, you're on the episode, cocoa again. There would be like a like a like a race with like intense music in the background. It would yeah. usually be like like it would usually be like like running after them or like like stealing someone's scooter. And it's really yeah. cool the fact that, you know, the character Fillmore, like it does oh, come yeah. out later on in the series, well, actually fairly early on, I think, that Fillmore was the juvenile delinquent guy. He was the Oh, yeah, guy. that's like... And he's turned himself around. Yeah. <clears throat> and Ingrid Third was a, uh, like a straight by the books... Uh, yeah, she's kind of the opposite. She was like, person. she was one of the, whatever it is that they I are. I felt like she would be the person yeah. to get in high school and start smoking. Yeah, you know, like the hall monitor type character. She she was one of whatever they are, like a hall monitor thing, yeah. uh, at her other school. But her uh, her ex partner goes bad in one episode because she has to go back, and she goes there without Fillmore, and she goes back to the other school because she has to. Like, but doesn't Fillmore one of doesn't we get to see Fillmore's ex partner on an episode? Yeah. So well, and like he's I don't know he goes bad or it does go bad. I think he was gone. Because I remember there being a scene with Ingrid, I believe, like back at her old school, um, and like. Her ex partner is there, like, like they're on. It's the middle of the winter, and they're on like this yeah. icy lake, and like they're having this showdown with like snowballs or something like that, on the, like the icy lake because it's her ex partner and two of like these goons, and she <clears> finds out like he's behind stuff. It was really good, incredible series. I mean, I really loved, and to this day, I still watch film every once in a while. Hit went from up here at night. Uh, <clears throat> I, I want to have the last note about this show. I'm just yeah. gonna say like one thing. This this. The art museum episode. Art museum episode. Really you know, I thought you were gonna say first. I saw this episode of Fillmore. I'm not sure if it's an episode of Fillmore or not, but Mickey Mouse was in it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a boat. <laughs> you think it might have been Doug? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, let's talk about the top two. We all have differing opinions on this show. This show here, but I think yeah. we all agree on which. This one actually, best. this is where this entire thing stems from. Because I was having this conversation with uh, my friend uh, last night. Because it was like You're over his friend's last friend night. friend because you are a nerd. <laughs> well, who's talking, you big fucking geek? Um, That's but... Weekenders and Recess! <laughs> yeah, it was a Weekenders and Recess. That's friends than me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, mm -mm. W we were talking, and he was like, I don't really like Recess that much. And I was like, That's fair. That's like a fair thing. Because if you compare it to like one of my favorites, Weekenders... Like, it is, there's such a quality difference. Good cush. I swear to God. <laughs> Anyways. Like, like, and like, they have a similar back. dynamic. And Bathy started saying good cush at like one point, one point, then he stopped, and I started, and I I said it stop. once before the video. No, I'm talking about like when I first started saying I it. I didn't say it. It was you and Jeff. Oh, right. It was and you start Because <laughs> it was like some... Was like, it the time when Jess was on a boat with Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Doug. Um, <laughs> you're here, Arnold. Um, uh, you silly goose. I've only, there's only one time I've said Okay, that so the two Anyways, shows we're talking yeah, about... We're talking about it. Recess and the Weekenders. They have, shows. they have very similar dynamics. In a way. It's a group... In a way. Yeah. It's a group of friends hanging out 
and doing stuff. And, like, we were talking about it, and he was like, I don't like recess very much. And I was like, I can get that. Because if you go back to a show that's on the exact same time, Weekenders, like, like, if, like, if you take Vince, like, right? Like, Vince was the sports. That was his thing. He was the sports. Um, and that was his character. And there is a couple good episodes with Vince, with the episode where he can't sports, and the one other episode that I would consider like a good episode is Vince's brother. But I gotta drop something in it right now. That's this is the F bomb. Dropping a bombshell. Yeah, I'm dropping a bombshell. Dropping Dad's, a mic down. Dad's no, on the Think about this for a second. Both of them deal with something, right? Both of them have basically the uh, the their their lead characters. They're you know the head characters yeah. and stuff. They both have T. Like, J. Tino. T. J. Deadwater and Tino. Basically. Mm-hmm. But the two T's. Tito Deadwire? But here's the thing that you have to think about, too. We talk about the fact that one is more layered than the other when it comes to the characterization of that, of both those shows, right? Yeah. We also have to put this into consideration as well. Yeah. Weekenders, <clears throat> right in the name, it's about these kids on on the weekend. Like, two mm-hmm. days, the most you know, the most exciting two days, and hopefully, like, the Friday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Basically, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's dealing with that, with those, you know, three days getting into the aspects and things that happens over those three days. Recess is set primarily and almost all through that series through a 15 minute recess. Yep. Uh, which doesn't lead to, you know, to the fact that leads Sometimes to as the much. Some episodes would connect recesses over, yeah. over yeah. three several days. But, so, but the fact that we got as much character drivenness out of that aspect of it. Uh, what was it? Was it was an amazing thing? Uh, wow. What recess really works based on not just not the char- not on the main characters, which I think TJ was was a fun character. He's uh, okay, but uh, overall, I think it's those background characters that people remember. It's it's King Bob, it's the uh, characters like the uh, like the swing girl. Uh, you know, just a little right, character. So the, or the, what's that? Uh, the Ashes, I think they were called. Yeah, the Ashes. <clears throat> uh, to, to rebuttal here. Um, <clears throat> The red button's going on. Uh, ev- like, there isn't. Like, even the background characters, even to the point of their names, every single character, their entire character trait can be summed up in a second. That's and the idea. And it's not interesting. Swinger Girl, you you brought up Swinger Girl. Swinger Girl is not interesting. The one episode where Swinger Girl is interesting is Spinelli's Swinger Girl episode, and she's not in it. That's the cool that part about it. Upside that's, down forever? But that's yes. the idea. No, that's that's <laughs> Upside Down Girl. You're not... Um, so, but, like, that episode's cool without her. And she's not interesting as a character. Like, the Digger twins are not interesting. Hustler Kid is not interesting. King Bob is disagree. interesting. I think what makes those characters interesting is the fact that they just are those characters. That They're they're just... Every, they're, they're kind of they're Actually, my fun little places. That, like, all but, these kids represented, like, different types of people and their stereotypes. And it was, like, exactly. so... They're sight gags. I liked it though. I liked that. That it was worked. good. I mean, like, and that's the thing. I liked it was recess, populated not by all these as much characters. as I liked the weekenders, but I did like recess. I don't dislike recess. I just, I like agree that like, the, I can see reasons why one wouldn't be as big a fan of it. Like, they they aren't that interesting, and all most of the characters are just sight gags. Like even recess, this movie was actually. Oh no, it wasn't. I, I remember Christ. watching that, but I, like I don't that. remember I what know. happened in the movie. I didn't like schools out, and I wasn't a huge, huge fan of. Uh, uh, going, don't don't do not go on a fifth grade. Christmas one, I thought. No, the Christmas one shit too. But going what to was fifth grade. that one episode where they went on a field trip? That was a good episode. That was a great episode. They break down in the thing. And yeah, yeah, boy. That was a cool episode. No, there There's was a good episode, I mean, and it's the, my good. favorite episode. And you want to talk about a really good episode? TJ kind of gets ostracized uh, from like every episode. He gets caught by the kindergartners. Stuff, yeah. Like one, the, the most interesting characters. In, in recess, to I'm going to say this right now. The most yeah. interesting characters in recess are the kindergartners. They're like a tribal. Really? Oh yeah, they're they're this like they're like it's tribal funny. like kindergartners. But no, and, and and TJ actually becomes part of the kindergartner tribe. And Does uh, he end up being like the leader. Yeah, see, yeah. and he does, and like they all they have to kind of like get TJ back to civilization to be a normal fourth grader because he's he's now become one of the kindergartners. And little things like that, like here here it was. These kindergartners were just kind of like a side thing. And it was kind of just a funny little ongoing gag. But mm-hmm. then you had this really cool episode where where the where it becomes kind of a forefront thing where where TJ is suddenly going in be, to becoming you know one of the kindergartners and he has to kind of be be brought back. There's an episode like you mentioned right there 
with with the swing of girl pretty much because she's not there uh, because she's she go Spinelli's coming out of school one day and like swinger girl talk about going over the swing set yeah and he which she couldn't do and she like she sees her go up I and there's a glare that. of light yeah. and then she, she she doesn't see her again and Spinelli starts a cult and it's, yeah, based off the idea that she went over the swing set and, and that transcended is such a genius idea when you no, think it's, about it's a that great was so good. but and you, you said the swinger girl is not an interesting character she's not even interesting in the in the episode that she's you know because she's not in it yeah. but it's interesting because the character is a fun character and they can use that to make Where did she go it interesting. Her? Didn't she just jump off a swing and go home? Yeah, her mom yeah. showed up. Her mom showed up. Oh, Basically, right. it's all. I think that a lot like, of it comes down to that. It comes like, down to these the characters. characters are the concepts are good. The characters are weak. And there's a lot more episodes <laughs> where like I'm just like uh, about it than I am with Weekenders. Like, uh, like uh, see, the I episode, was, like for totally a while think... I really liked um, the the episode where he gets sent into the detention room. Yeah. But like the kids, I can't stand. But you're not like, supposed like that. No, the but they're supposed to be like like characters you like actors, but like Trip Nebular. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying, but he's supposed to be a annoying character. That's but, like, the idea behind. He it. was okay. Like I didn't <clears throat> like the episode where Gus is getting bullied. That was annoying. I, I the only like episode that. with Mikey that was interesting was the uh, opera. The yeah, it was the opera episode where it's the premise of the first episode of like Riverdale. Character. And the thing is, Mikey is such like he's a gentle giant character. When I think of Mikey, uh, and in a weird way, you think like Lenny from like a Mice and Men type of thing. Yeah, Except, you know, I, you I just, didn't get I was never super into. I was never super into like to Mikey. Spinelli was like my. Mikey was my favorite. I like. No, I really liked Gus. Gus because is my favorite. He was like a low key Be nerd. <clears throat> he but was not as bad as Gretchen. Uh, well, Gus is your introduction into 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 a. Uh, into recess. Gus is a character that's coming in to the group. He's the he's he's the new kid, and he he's pretty much supposed to represent. You know, episode you I certain. will say is like astounding. <clears throat> what the box? That hmm? was one of the best episodes. Miss Finster of an animated series makes period. <clears throat> she, like she she wants to find a way to like to punish them to punish them. So she makes a box. Right, she just draws a box in like, uh, in like chalk. She like whenever like TJ does some bullshit like he usually does, she will send him to the box, which is essentially solitary confinement. I remember that. Yeah. And he gets completely broken. I actually. Well, think, yeah, so we're Randall. Yeah. As we're as we're talking about this now, huh? I'm actually starting to really actually realize more the actual genius of the show than I than I. Oh, well, there, like there is. It's just, uh, like, I think the character. Like I can understand why some people would be like, eh, because like the characters are weaker. Like. I don't care about Vince. I do not care about Vince at all. I don't care about Gretchen. I do I like not Gretchen's character. I, like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Gretchen was a character that I could kind of relate to a little bit. I was the the nerdy kid. That I, I wanted to relate to her, but she's just so one note. And like, but she's her big crazy. episode is like the Yo Yo episode. It's probably her best. Um, like all of them. The have... Yo Yo episode is amazing. Though. What? The Yo Yo episode is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Here's the thing. We can like Recess is a show that. Like it could have like it's it's mediocre episodes. It yeah. doesn't really have what I could consider a bad episode. Uh, that's one thing that is actually it doesn't have a really a, a legitimately I feel bad, like bad episode. There's no episode that's like but bad. When it does go there, when it gets to that spot, when it has an episode like the box, when it has an episode like like the opera episode, when it has an episode where where we find that Smelly's parents are spots. That was that is the episode I would consider bad actually. I, I don't that. like that episode. I thought it was fun. I just I wasn't a big fan. I thought but, the whole spy twist was stupid. A good Spinelli episode was the episode where she stays with Miss Fencer for a week. That was cool. That's good. That's that a good was episode. Really nice. Um Me but no, like, no. But what what I was gonna say is that when it gets there, it does reach greatness. Yeah, it's good. And, no, it's uh, it's a great show. Not a lot there's a lot of shows out there can that can coast on like decent shows and mediocre shows. Let's give a what is, smoke what is happening? Why are you turning it down? Cat. Turn it down for what? Why don't you give it like a smoky alert? So, there you go. So basically, so you got your time in the camera. <laughs> um, but now, but it reaches greatness. And, and a lot of cartoons can go by and be really decent and be really good. And a lot of the shows that we talked about here were really good shows, really iconic shows. But there isn't an episode of Hey, hey Arnold or Doug, in my opinion. That's a lot good, of the shows. Honestly, for me, for those two. <laughs> no, but even some of the shows that we listed that are good. That will ever reach the level of an episode of like called like the box. Except for Gargoyles, that's a good thing. 
Um, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, we'll never reach that so we'll ever reach yeah, that yeah. level. Recess reached However, that level. now, when we were talking about this, me and my friend were talking, I was, like, my point was that Weekenders, which is a very similar show, is better. Way. Like, as great as Recess is, Weekenders is just on another level. Whereas, like, Weekenders, like, or I mean, Recess can have mediocre episodes, anything involving Vince... Uh, <laughs> really don't like this Vince character. No, do you? Mikey episodes that aren't the uh, the you know like the singing one. Any Gretchen episode that isn't the Yo Yo one. Like the, these characters are one note, and like the best the best episodes come from the concept episodes, like uh, like the box or the like that whole me no no or like stuff like that. But they're really one note. But Weekenders, there isn't an episode of Weekenders that isn't. Great. Yeah, that's like, it's true. so good. Like, whenever we talk about episodes of Recess, like I remember, that, I'm like, yeah. But whenever we talk about episodes of like Weekenders, I am like, yeah. But we yes. just talked about some great ones, yeah. though. We just did. We talk did. About some great ones. But like when yeah, I when I like, oh yeah, that was a good episode. But then when you talk about the good ones about Weekenders, you're like, like boy. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, like the only episode where I can like legitimately with Recess, like the two where I can say, oh man, I love that episode. Library Kid, because I love Library Kid. Yeah. I really like Library Kid, I really Kid too. love Library Kid. And Peanut Butter and Jelly Kid. But, 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 but you mentioned other ones. You mentioned The Box. You mentioned the uh, where she spends the weekend. Oh, yeah. Like but I'm, but I'm like, those are good episodes. But, like, when I talk like about Weekenders, episodes. I immediately think of different parts of the episode. But I Weekenders still, great. there's still episodes of Weekenders that are actually stronger than others. There's going to be shows oh, of course yeah, there's episodes that stronger. Not, but they're all good. Like, there isn't an episode of Weekenders where, like, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Like, I still think that that episode was, was mediocre. No, I, that, that episode was cool. It was nice to, like, one, it it's, was a nice it's more serious. It's a character thing, but it's yeah. not, they're, it's definitely not I the best work. It, I don't the best work why I don't appreciate it, because it was, it was a redeeming point, because to the whole thing, we see everybody mentioning how Tino's dad is just not dad worthy. And then all of a sudden he comes in and you see that he is. He might not be conventionally like, I'm yeah, like your the, father, the fatherly is, figure, but I'm like, I'm your father his, his and I'm His dad has the same anxiety close. like issues that he and has. Yeah. Where, and they can't do oh, anything no, it's a great show, but And they have this like, great beat at the end where his dad finally agrees to do something with him and they go flying. Oh, that was a great And they show. get to the bottom and like, we that. both hate it. Like, it's, it's <laughs> god awful. But they hug each other and they're like, we did something together because his dad wouldn't do anything with him because his dad has the same Fears, and that's where he gets his fears from. I mean, you kind of went me over that one. Actually, that, I, I'd forgotten that. Part. There's like, there, like every episode. Like, if I were like to think about like, it shows less of like a like clown a daddy episode. figure, like his mom's boyfriend. Clown it episode. shows him more like, oh god, I'm your dad, and like we're like we'll we're keep, friends. Clown episode. <laughs> clown episode. The clown episode's so, amazing. Amazing, and y you always gotta think that like, <laughs> you know, seeing a clown and then rolling himself into a fetal position. <laughs> Does he like roll away essentially? Well, uh, well first. He, like he freaks out, and they kind of like, they kind of like get him back. Uh, like, and then he freaks out, and they put him in a wheelbarrow and get him back. <laughs> till finally he's freaking out, getting to to the fetal position and rolling himself back to his house because he's just freaking out so much. It's because clowns so, terrify him. It's like, hilarious. That's one of the funniest shows. The Bouncy Castle episode. The Bouncy Castle episode. You know, oh, like Uncle Tino. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Uh, my one of my favorite the episode where the one guy doesn't like Tino and he's trying to win him over. Yeah. yeah, and every With, episode, like, uh, what about the episode? Uh, the, the, oh my god, I just had it in my head when you said that when you said that one. Because like when <clears throat> like when me and like Charles talked about like that episode, the one where he like he wants one, like uh, we Carver, talked about the ending. Joke. Carver b set to babysitting. That was hilarious. The long <laughs> trek to Sunday. <laughs> yeah, but like when when we they talked about the, the episode where like like he doesn't like like someone doesn't like Tino. Like, we talked about, like, we were like, what was it again? And I was like, so at the end, like, the guy is like, he's like, why don't you like me? Like, what is it? What's the issue? And he's like, when we are in, like, third grade, you spilled your milk on me. You didn't, like, say sorry. And he's like, that wasn't me. That was, that was Tony Tonatino. <laughs> and it's a guy who looks identical to Tino with, like, a thin, blonde mustache. And he's like, hey. And, like, me and Charles just dying laughing because it's <laughs> so funny. Do you know where the weak part is in Weak Earth? I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it right out there right now. Yeah? Uh, the extended family of that... Uh, of, of who? Of, what's, the name, what's the character's name? Tish. Lore? Lore. 
Oh. Yeah, that, that's the only part that doesn't they work as well. They were uh, kind of boring. and they, You only see them twice. Yeah. No, but uh, but also like, you get into it. Like when, and there's an episode where she accidentally gives away, kind of gives away all their clothes to like a... Uh, that's Pampers. hilarious. The Actually, laundromat episode? I don't like that one. That no, that one's really <laughs> yeah, that good. Because yeah, she's I'll repeatedly go. trying to get the clothes back and going yeah. through the laundry. like Helpers helping the helpers. Yeah. And that's yes, like, I that, like you that. can't you can't like say that what wasn't was a good episode and then bring up the helpers helping the helpless girl. But yeah, that's, that's hilarious. hilarious. But that's the more, more, that character yeah, but she that's the, the first episode where she's prominent and it's so funny. Yes, it's so good. No, you like no, it's not one of my favorites. I don't like it when I'm they appear on screen, but they only appear like. That's the thing. Even like if it's like, oh, it's not one of my favorites. Like that episode has helped the helping the helping helpless watch girl it and, be like, I and like lore so freaking much. out because like she leaves the girl, stuff in <laughs> <laughs> i like pointy things yeah exactly uh not fucking fair what do you mean last time we talked about recess and yeah. weekenders together yeah. i referenced that girl and you told me she was part of recess and that's why i have no i did not her. yes you did no i what? didn't yes no, you did no i did not i don't know what <laughs> yes, you're talking you about but i would never it's, say I was that like, i was like what about the girl who isn't because it was like we were all getting stuff mixed up between them and i got to i like pointing things to a mix up between them and i t- i said i liked her from the weekend and you're like that's a recess character i would listen. Oh, go back to the last <laughs> video we were all Actually, waiting I, people i can I, I we there's something on that uh yes go back to the last video i would never say such a film go back to the last video because <laughs> it started we, you messed, we should, up, wait, we messed up like the names a lot you messed up Dad messed up, then I messed up. And I thought that I messed up, but I guess I didn't mess up. No, no. We messed up no. with the names. Okay, but I would never. Well, we gotta. Because no. there's two. There's a weird Where, character. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back <laughs> to the last Okay, okay, video. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We're getting off topic with it now. <clears throat> Watch. Hey, there, there you go. If you didn't see the last video and you want to find out <laughs> if Wes is right Which or if isn't. Matt is I right, am. you can actually sure, go no. back to our last Buck 99 podcast and find out for yourself. Who is actually right on this one here? You're sick. I am saying I was saying something like that. One hundred percent certain. I am beyond one hundred percent certain. No, guys, I'm not going to do it on here. I'm not going to come back and, and reference it. You, you're going to have to find out by watching the the previous Buck Nine Nine podcast. <laughs> Who no, it's, is right? No, it's true. <laughs> That's right. But with that being said, we're, we're Weekenders it. and Recess are both two amazing shows, and I don't think you should oh, miss yeah. either one of them. Uh, Weekenders is the top show. If I was going to list my top three shows out of the shows, that, those Disney shows, it would go like this. It would be Weekenders, Fillmore, and Recess in that particular order. That's my top yeah. three right there. Me too. They're uh, amazing. But Gargoyles is a Disney show, so it's got to be up on my top. <clears throat> I don't think it's the same type of show that we can't really. No, it's like, not the same type it. of show. Uh, like, like, is it a Disney show? Yes, but uh, like, uh, oh, I, it's a crazy like, Disney show. I, I, you know, then I'd be, I never talked about the funny episode like, where Goliath like gets confused <laughs> with Tony Tonadina. <laughs> like, oh, but it's not, it's not me, Goliath. It's Galoni. Galoni. And it's just like, you know what? Hear me out. He's like, no, wait a second. That wasn't me, Goliath. That was Tony Tonatino <laughs> yeah, with the blonde mustache. Hey. Literally, he's Goliath with the blonde mustache. Yeah. Turns around. Hey. He's your dad. Hello. <laughs> but that has been the TV portion. We're going to come back and talk a little bit on the uh, end it off, I guess, with a little bit, tiny bit on the switch. Kind of, we're going to kind of a bits and pieces tired. on the yeah, on, on kind of switch, and we're going to talk a little bit about. Riverdale, because uh, the first episode showed up on uh, Netflix, and I got some things to it's say. It's funny that you're making this like a part in tiny portion, because I was literally just going to mention to the end of the first portion, like, just like a three-word thing about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll be happy. Okay, you know what, let's magic editing cut. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. with the magic of editing. Cut. That's like the hit new thing. Hey there, so, so... Oh, it's already <laughs> played. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck movies, getting a Riverdale, is that? <laughs> so anyway... So Riverdale came on uh, on Friday. Actually, yeah. premiered the day on on Netflix the day after it came on the CW. Uh, I did not know it was coming on Netflix. Actually, uh, Matthew actually let me it. know, and uh, amazing. I I got to say it it's definitely a watch. If, I really liked it. If you like that type of program, it's a kind of a mystery, kind of Twin Peaks in a kind of a little bit of Veronica Mars, a little bit uh, Pretty Little Liars, a, a lot of Twin Peaks. Uh, I gotta say, it's very dark, and different look. Like on things that I actually. really liked about it was like uh, I didn't think I was gonna like Veronica because I, I don't like Veronica in the in the comics too much. 
But uh, no, she was awesome. She took it in a different direction. She's Betty is pretty cool. Um, I like Betty actually a lot. Kevin Klein or Keller is a cool. Kevin Keller. Ke- his Klein. Yeah. Kevin Klein's an actor. Um, mm. Jug. I. The only thing I could. You know what? The, my least favorite character is Archie. He's kind of boring. He's kind of lame. You know? I actually like Archie, and then he's like, and the thing is that Archie's got Archie. kind of cool, deeper type character too. Yeah, you're pretty much Archie. I'm what? Jughead, man. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm I'm fucking Jughead. Who am I? So. Who am I? I don't know enough about Archie, but who am I? Betty. No. No. What are you no. talking about? Uh, really? Betty? Maybe. Yeah, you're well, pretty like, studious. Betty. Betty is. So you, you have like studies. you're very like study <laughs> and you're very focused. <laughs> Betty is a very like. Whereas Veronica's rich in like in the comics, he's rich and sort of like. Like, can play something like, I oh, just like my dad does stuff for me. Betty is always like very, like, she's like down to earth. She's very focused. Oh. And stuff like that. It's going to shock you kids, but when I was in school, yeah. in, in high school, my friend, uh, yeah. Jamie, was legit pretty much who Archie is. And I was 100% Jughead. Uh, that, that was me. At, you know, yeah. I was the sarcastic. Honestly, guy, I like, see you as more Reggie. Uh, Actually, I was joking. I was li- I was uh, I was the person that was making fun of everybody else and kind of just being on the fringes of every group. Where and not been I wasn't the jock. I wasn't like the that type. I was just a guy that kind of like had fun and could could fit in with the stoners, but the other people as well. So put into perspective, like exactly how much of a like down to earth, like like nice person I am. People at like not like. I, no, is that I, how amazing he is? No, I, it's not that amazing. I just don't know how to be mean to people. I can't do it. But, like, this, I can't, okay. I have literally had people, like, in the middle of, like, lunchtime, like, be like, hey, can I talk to you for a bit? And I was like, yeah, okay. And would, like, take me to another space in which we're alone so they could talk about their issues because they know that I'm not going to judge them. Yeah. I'm like, I'm such a nice person, but yeah, at the same time, like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pretty fatty. I'd say you're pretty fatty. Yeah, you're fatty. I don't know. And I'm Jughead, mostly. Yeah, I'm better Reggie. I've read Archie, too. You're better than Archie. I feel like you're a floor, because you're not interesting. I would say you're kind of Archie-ish. No, not because you are kind of like the leader guy of your of your friend group. Yeah. You are the person, you know, the person like, oh, you're the one that, that kind of like does the stuff. Yeah, that's right. And kind of leads, leads it. And that's kind of what Archie does. He's, he's at the end of the day, he's a peacemaker and the leader of his group. That That's kind of what you do. Yeah, that's like, right. Because obviously, he wants to be a special snowflake, but he's not. Everybody's their own special snowflake. Like, <laughs> no. you be prepared for this after credit sequence, because I'll take what? you to fucking town. <laughs> we just so you guys know, the bus stops in the fucking danger zone. <laughs> we just, we just did. We, uh, we just checked. We before uh, we did a thing where, at where where at West talked about it something happens. that was said. You guys should see in the background there's a video up because we did check to see who was right. (laughs) And you'll find out in the after credit sequence. Technically, you were not right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get into it. I was Uh, wrong. What, guys, guys? Not yet the after credit sequence. Fuck your soul. I swear (laughs) to God. Um, Switch, really quick. uh, Nendo Suisse. (laughs) Nendo Suisse. I really like the Nendo Suisse. Nendo Suisse. I don't know. Like, the more the stuff that comes out about it, the more I'm like. <laughs> Come on, Nintendo, do it right. Like I don't know, the app thing is confusing to me. To be honest, I haven't been kept keeping up on the news. I haven't been kept. Really? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, the whole idea. Shut up. The thing that makes me nervous is that they said that <laughs> that voice chat and playing games and playing like doing like hub based music. Just like keep up. your phone plugged in. What? Yes, that's not, no, no, that's no. Not dead. Here's the thing. I I think what I'm assuming what they're trying to say is that. If you do it on the go, you can use it's your from phone. your phone. Or you but can I can see phone. that being massively painful on data plans. Holy shit! And your battery too. <laughs> yeah. Like, right, people, just imagine like playing, right like, now, people bring their chargers everywhere. People are going to be bringing their chargers. They're going to be bringing like, no, no, extra no, batteries. Like, picture They're going to be like, bringing second phones. <laughs> <laughs> but, All of this stuff. But no, I, I don't know. Fish. I mean, like, it's I the the. The games when, are there. I'll, I will the buy Nintendo there, yeah. Switch down the road because I want Mario Odyssey. I expensive. want Breath of the Wild. Oh, like I don't think yeah, anybody's going to be there. Why don't you get Breath of the Wild for that? I'm not sure. If I'm going to wait because I'm not sure if I'm going to switch. So, okay. but here's the thing: I don't think anybody is going to say, 
you know what? I gotta get Nintendo Switch because I gotta buy one two Switch. <laughs> one two Switch is garbage. <laughs> you know what isn't garbage? Like everybody, whenever I say this, like the first, they're like, "What are you talking about?" I think Arms looks like it's gonna be fun. Arms is good, but I don't think it's a game that I don't I, think it, I it's not like a console be... seller. But oh. I would absolutely have fun with Arms. Like it looks like. Because like when I show it to Charles, but dude, without arms, it's really <laughs> it can be a really sad existence. Yeah, I don't know what arms is right now, so I'm like, it's this it's this <laughs> fighting game, right? It's this fighting game we where like spring, you've got like spring, spring loaded like you basically got spring arms, so you like fight from across the room and like like but, but you here's use the, thing, the motion sensors to punch. The thing. But if you're supposed to play with somebody else, but here's the thing: you're supposed to play the game with somebody else usually. So that means, hey, you want to play arms? Okay. Uh, I don't have a Nintendo Switch. I just go buy uh, two Wait. controllers for seventy or eighty dollars for. No, no, you, you'd have to have the whole console to do that. No, you wouldn't. But it's worth yeah, it. You, would. you remember when we know it? Here's okay. Here's some of the complaints yes. that have been lodged against the system that I don't think make any sense. Yeah. Um, some recently people have said, "Oh my God, if I want to take it into another room and play it, and play it on the TV yeah. with without like." Unplugging everything, it's going to cost me ninety dollars for an extra dock. That that's been like one of the complaints that's coming. I don't know why you would what. Like so, if you can't remove your dock and bring it upstairs or to it another room, be easy. That seems like it'd be something easy to do. Yeah, but here's the thing, and it's ninety dollars for an extra dock. But I'm going to say this right now. If I if I'm like, oh man, I got my PS4 there. I don't want to unplug that and take it to another room. That's going to cost me three hundred dollars. <laughs> that's a huge difference. The ninety dollars that's going to cost the dock. Your, your system like I can see why to. having another dock would be cool, though. But yeah, like, you can put a dock and that's in a like, huge difference. You, you okay, the this applies to me and Matthew. Yeah, we could put a dock in mom's house and a dock in dad's house. Yeah, yeah. Boom. And honestly, like one system, and basically for ninety dollars, basically you guys could actually have could you take system back kind of back and forth. Uh, whereas, like, if I wanted to say, hey, you guys want want to use a PS4, here's a PS4. It's going to cost about $300. You know, it, it actually, like, if I want half season It's actually on, a genius idea. If I want half, like, if I want half season on it with Charles, right? Yeah. And I just got, like, a dock, like... And Charles like, paid for the rest. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, like, and, like, if I got a dock, right, if we got, like, an extra dock, like, I work, like, during the daytime, Charles works, like... Other times in the evenings, like... Are you trying to tell us Charles is Batman? Yeah, but Charles is Batman. <laughs> I'm Robin. We have different hours. It's not really work. This partnership doesn't really work Considering Batman it's and like... Robin's, like, semi-relationship, I can get Holy see. switch, Batman! Um, oh. But, like, no, like, he could, like, play it when I'm at, like, I'm at work. Like, he could have it up on his dock. I could come home, and if Charles got, like, work or something, I, like, fucking... Walk I up could, into his I honestly could, it. like, yeah. Like, I've known Charles for, like... You. I've known yeah. Charles for, like, almost a decade. I can just walk into his house if I want to. I could, I'd go into his house, just grab the switch, bring it back down, and like play it there. Yeah. Oh, you guys actually, there's an idea. <laughs> yes. It's actually not a bad idea. I'm going to run it by Charles. Uh, and it, where it is a fairly expensive system, most expensive here in Canada, it's three ninety nine, which is an insane price. It should be two ninety nine. It's almost five hundred. Uh, yeah, when you get everything, when you, cause especially you can buy a dock, but and you want to buy a game, and you want to buy like a, a Wii, so, uh, sorry, a Switch Pro controller. So, yeah, uh, it's kind of exciting, and there are some decent games, and there's more games being announced. So, I am still on board with the Switch. A lot of people are kind of like, and they'll be like, you know, uh, what about third party support? What about. It's well, looking fine. I have a friend, I, I might have mentioned him on here before. I know he doesn't watch his videos, so it's perfectly fine. Um, he believes everything he reads, no matter like, what. And so, he's been sending me for the last like, two weeks like messages about how, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, Pat. Um, uh, <laughs> sending me messages about how, like, the Nintendo Switch has already lost all of its third-party support and everyone's, like, going against it. I and I'm true. like... It's totally upset, like, actually. I, I don't want to... Like, I just haven't been responding because I don't want to have to spend the time to be like, Pat, you, you're being dumb. You, he, like... He was the friend who, like, like, last year was like, you know, they announced that, like, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to come out and the map's going to be the whole country. And I... Gonna be coming out in like twenty twenty, and he's like one. He's like a really. He's a cool guy, but he's incredibly gullible. Uh, and like, uh it's fine. It's going fine. I think like, Nintendo Switch is is gonna be, is gonna be a really a fairly decent console. I I think they're gonna do a good job with it. Uh, there are some things that definitely need need to be worked on. 
uh, you know, but a lot of the stuff can can be done updated. Like, I don't expect this. Here's the thing: people are saying it's not gonna have the same third third party support. It's not gonna be the same as like uh, as, as powerful as the PS4 or as an Xbox One. Well, no shit on that one. It's not yeah. supposed to be as powerful as the PS4 or as an Xbox One. It's a Nintendo. I don't buy Nintendo because I want to buy the newest Call of Duty. It's real. It's it's cute if you can get the Call of Duty out there, and you've had ones on there as well. And people people say things like, well. You get them on there sometimes, but then they're then they're lesser, then they're pared down, then they're uh, then they're not you know the same level of the ones that were on like uh, even on PS3 and the Xbox 360, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing: people that buy Nintendo systems don't buy Nintendo systems to play third-party games most of the time. They don't buy t Nintendo systems yeah. to play Call of Duty. Skyrim is coming on. There's people that are going to be excited to play Skyrim on on the go, but Skyrim isn't the system seller for. For, Nint for Nintendo's Switch. Zelda is a system seller for Nintendo Switch. Mario is a system seller for Nintendo Switch. Metroid is a system seller for Nintendo Switch. Pikmin is a system seller for, Metroid. for Nintendo Metroid. Switch. Metroid! Metroid! Metroid. <laughs> Seamus from Metroid! Seamus from Metroid! Uh, Metroid Pratt! Seamus <laughs> from Metroid! <laughs> My favorite but is Metroid Pratt! That's the thing. <laughs> Why do you buy if when you when you get your 3ds out? What's in it? Like okay, most out, like Pokemon you, and uh, Monster Hunter. Exactly, and what, and where's Pokemon Monster Hunter exclusive to? Nintendo. What are you playing on there right now? Pokemon. Pokemon. Right? Exactly. And and do you think you're missing out on any that because Call because Call of Duty or Battlefield isn't on that that system? No, I will say that like. Third-party support would would actually be really big. For no, yes, it definitely would be big, but because, I, because but it's not necessary. No, it's not necessary, but it, it, it is. It's like, I don't think it's an issue. Like, I don't even know if we should thing. be talking about this because, like, like okay, I, like one or a couple of people have been like, maybe this game isn't going to come on the Switch, but like right now we don't have any reason to like. Yeah, no, but the, but really we, worry about no, it. When people have been complaining about. It, I just wanted to mention it, bring it up. Yeah, but here's the thing too. With I think there's going to be third-party support. Does yeah. that mean that all the top tier? third-party games are going to go into the Switch, like the new Assassin's no, Creed no. and stuff like that. Maybe not, but maybe the third-party support is going to come from new, inventive, like, unique games that are going to be done by those third parties that maybe didn't give Nintendo the time of day before, but are now because they can see uh, how, how that can be utilized. Uh, mm. There you go. That's my thoughts right now on the Nintendo Switch. Yep. So, and uh, <laughs> with that being said, my tea is gone. And I need more. It's like 1.30 in the morning here. 1.46, actually. So we really made this podcast a really big one. This is going to be one of those epic podcasts. I hope you guys watched it all the way through. If you did, leave a comment down below. And while you're leaving a comment, you might want to reverence the words. Doodly doodly do. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll know you're really awesome. Thank you so much for watching. For me right now, it is time for tea. I'm going to go uh, watch my favorite episode of Gargoyles. It's the one where Mickey Mouse is on the boat. <laughs> and I think it might be an episode of Hey Arnold or something. And, uh, you know. Jug's there. Jug's there. He's got Chip and Dale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't say anything? No. <laughs> no kush. <laughs> it's good kush, boy. It's good kush. You're the worst. <laughs>
we can go back through the footage of yeah. this video where you say that we didn't even talk about that girl. You're, you're, you're right. You know what? You're That's right. True. I, I, that part I is true. did forget that we talked about the girl. But it was your filthy shit mouth <laughs> that said on to me. You accused me of telling you that I like pointy things, girl. Just before we did this, by the recess. way. Just be we, before we did this. Wasn't there what a sort Wes, of monster? Wes said that no. if Wes was right, Wes was going to get the roast Matt. And, and I said that Chris if I was sequence. right, I'd get your fucking soul. <laughs> and that's what I get now. Your trash soul. That would accuse me of making such grave mistakes. What? Like you did make a this mistake. This is an assault on my before. person. This is an assault on my person. And you should feel bad about your filth self. <laughs> you sick monster who would say I would say such a thing that I wouldn't know that the character has like straight long hair and big silly eyes Ooh, the way and you're like looking a right silly now, smile you kind of remind me of creepy <laughs> and you're turning like that actually like because like, your hair is kind of back like that and my hair is kind of back like that my hair is big buggy like, eyes really ugly do you like, do you, like you looking hated. in the fucking mirror you <laughs> shit <laughs> You garbage creature, you trying to turn this around when there's a roast on you? You fucking chestnut? I swear to God. You, I, mm. Like, what? I'm not the hipster who's been wearing fingerless gloves through the whole video. I'm... What? Fucking, at least I know how to put them on my hands. Apparently you don't know shit. You fucking, you don't know where Mickey Mouse is going. <laughs> you don't know where Chip and Dale come from. You're not fully sure if Doug or Hey Arnold is flying Rhino Jr. high or not. Yes. And you like saying like assaults on my person when it's your mistakes. You shit. You're a garbage person. You should file for like collection. Get out on the curb. I'll throw a net over you. You shit. Okay, hug it out now. Right, this is my video. Hug it out. We're gonna go tie like, it. We're gonna fall asleep hugging we're it out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. This has been an awesomely fun video to make, and uh, really, I really enjoyed it. I planned to talk about the switch not that lot longer, but our retro section became really, really big, and we and we, and we re both we all really enjoyed it. So yeah. Wish Matthew a happy birthday. Thanks. Hey. And a doodly doodly do. Yeah, thought it yet, but thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, guys. For me, right now, as always, it you know what time it is. Why did you? It's bedtime. Time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> time for bed. Yeah, we're really tired. Probably. Like, <laughs> you have film more anywhere around? Like, Actually, yeah, I do. Okay. <clears throat> but I don't go to sleep. I mean, I'm new yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna watch it though. I'm literally gonna fall asleep in like ten minutes. I'm not. I'm tired. I'm probably gonna fall asleep too. Yeah. I'm gonna fall asleep. Maybe too much film work. It's too exciting. Nah, I'll fall asleep too. <laughs> Thank you guys. For me right now, it is time for tea, and it's going to be time for bed. I'll probably be staying up watching a little bit of Black Mirror on Netflix when I, uh, on my iPad. Wes, you want to say anything before you go? Um, I thought about making a K-pop reference, but then I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing I have to say is that, uh, when Rita Repulse's, like, dumpster opened up and released Rita and, Gold <laughs> and like, Swat and Babu and Goldback, <laughs> it also going? released Wes's soul. <laughs> they love each other so so much. Yeah, I hope he's gay. <laughs>